everybody, welcome back to another case break. Today we are doing an encore presentation of the brand new 2020 Diamond Kings that just came out last Wednesday. The other two cases have arrived and we're opening 48 more boxes of this tonight, hoping for some big time hits, big time autos and bat relics from some of the names, some of the game's best uh, big names out there, Hall of Famers and stars. So we left off with spot 24 and we did the first 24 boxes. Now Patrick is up. Without further ado, let's get this started and see what we can find. You see two autographs for memorabilia cards per box and typically... Uh, it's one auto and one relic. Let's see what we can find in here. LT's card says, shout out. Thank you for being here. Shout out to you. Card King says, how's it going? It's going pretty well. Hopefully everybody had a nice weekend. I had a nice weekend here and uh, played some baseball today. And I uh, just had a nice dinner of actual real pizza, which was amazing since I was on that keto diet for so long. It's the first time I had a real pizza. All right, so the way we'll do this is I'll just break through about a half of the box at a time. We'll go through a stack here. Roby says, what's the best low price box to buy to get autographs? Well, Roby, you can get the brand new Big League coming out. Um, you don't get a guaranteed one in every box, but they're probably around $35 to $40 per box, I would imagine. FDC Family Cards is here, and Vladdy Dinger is here as well. So here we go. Uh, series 2 still coming out, the 26th. As far as I know, DC, uh, 2020 Top Series 2 is coming out Friday the 26th, and I can't wait for it. So uh, we will be breaking that whenever I get my case in the mail for sure. There's a nice Fernando Tatis Jr. Uh, Philip is here. Hey, man, how's it going? So it's been watching for like two years now. That's awesome. Glad to have you in a live stream. There's Tony Gwynn, Mike Piazza, all-time Diamond King card. Pete Rose, Dustin May, rookie card is a nice one. Aficionado, Mike Trout. Looks like MLB Kid said, just opened two blasters of Bowman and got a Chrome Dominguez. That's pretty nice. Those, those Dominguez cards have kind of dropped in value a little bit, but still a great card. There's Gavin Lux. And Dante says, our targets are limiting Bowman Megas. Uh, that's what they're doing. That's what they're doing here also at my target, Dante. It's two per person. And uh, that's good because that gives us at least a shot at uh, getting some. Uh, there's a nice Luis Robert and Jordan Alvarez. Um, as you know, a lot of people just um, around the country just go and buy all of them, which is terrible. They'll go and buy every single box on the shelf. So, Patrick, no hit yet. Still looking for our first hit of the evening. And uh, let's see what we can find. In the second stack here, Big Joe says, Hello, I'm a new subscriber. Thank you, man. Glad to have you aboard. Um, got some other breaks coming up. It's a busy, busy week. I posted the schedule in the description for this video. It's going to be Diamond Icons coming up on Tuesday. That's a $10,000 case of cards right there. And it looks like Hanson Sports Cards is here and says, Great break, Eric. I'm shooting for 200 subscribers this weekend. I'm at 187. Your Jabs family are amazing. Thank you for everything, Eric. So Hanson Sports Cards, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. I hope you guys will check out Hanson Sports Cards. And also, Last Drops Baseball says, You might be the only one playing baseball. Looks like MLB uh, is in force long haul you are going to have to start posting jabs baseball highlights last wraps baseball thank you very much we should do that um i was thinking about doing something along those lines last year maybe like wiffle ball wednesday and how about a mike trout as our first hit a mike trout game used relic is the first hit of the day and it's for patrick double dual relic right there congratulations on finding the mike trout indigo relic a nice one make sure you guys check out last wraps and also Make sure you check out Hanson Sports Cards Break. I really appreciate the support, guys. It's a nice hit right there. The Mike Trout. There's an autograph coming up shortly in this box. We will find it in a moment right now. Uh, yeah, who, yeah, I'm sorry. Yehuda says, do you ever offer breaks between $20 and $50? I'll tell you what. You're in luck. There's a nice Jordan Alvarez. That is a framed uh, parallel card. There's a couple... Um, not, there's a, 
not a couple, but a nice lower end product. It's going to be big league. It's kind of like um, it's kind of like opening day, and that's usually around I, I forget the exact price, probably thirty five to forty dollars per full box. Nice Euron Alvarez rookie card, and the hit is Danny Mendick, and that is a dual relic and also his auto as well, and an A Rod and Roberto Clemente. So Patrick, congratulations on the nice Mike Trout. And usually what we see is with Diamond Kings, if they give you a really good relic, then they'll kind of um, give you a lesser n lesser name auto. Here's our next box. This one is for Philip W. Oh, yeah, the Stan Musial autograph. We'll do that later on, Caden, for sure. I will do that at the end of the stream because um, Heather is working on my computer right now, which is all fun and dandy. I'll get that set up at the end, and we'll give out away the Stan Musial autograph. All right, so, Philip, here we go. How much is a box of Diamond Kings going for? Depending on the site, usually um, around uh, 80 to $90, depending on what you got to pay with tax and everything. Let's see what else we can find in box number two for Philip. What's my email, Oscar Baseball? You can send it to me at ericj underscore one zero zero at yahoo.com. Here's the next pack. We'll do six packs at a time. Philip W. All right, I see Clemente on the back once more. Clay says, been waiting on this one, Jabs. Bought two boxes in this break. Best of luck to you when you come up. I can't remember exactly which spot you're, is, you, that you are off the top of my head, but that was posted on Patreon. So, Pack Dad said, found three boxes of 2020 Donruss at Walmart yesterday. That's awesome. Nice fun right there. Tyrone Taylor out of 25. Get that one sleeved up. Here comes a... Uh, Roger Maris framed border card. Those aren't numbered, but they're still kind of cool. They're one in every three packs on average. Thad M is here, says, Happy Sunday, all. Love all the new content, Eric. Thad, thank you very much. You'll be hearing his name again soon uh, in a mystery box Monday within the next uh, couple weeks for sure. There's Joe DiMaggio. Here comes the hit. It's going to be a Miguel. And it is Miggy Cabrera, and it is a Jersey King. So a game used, future Hall of Famer right there, Miguel Cabrera. And so there's going to be one more hit coming out of this box for Philip. Hopefully it's a nice rookie auto. Super Mo, how's it going? Welcome to the live stream. There's Daddy Daughter with Thad's channel if you'd like to check him out. Jaga Wolf says that his Walmart doesn't even carry sports cards. That's awful. Um, sorry about that. I know some Walmarts have eliminated the cards because of uh, theft and other reasons. What card are we looking for? We're looking for any big autographs, relics. Um, basically, we're just, I'm mostly paying attention to the, um, the hits in this. The RMM says, who has faded more, Miggy or Pujols? Um, that is a great question. I would say... Personally, they've both faded a lot, but I'm going to go with Cabrera's faded more. If you look at his, uh, he hasn't even posted a, a war of over one in like three plus years. Uh, Pujols still has a little more power than Cabrera, but um, there's Jordan Alvarez. Get that one sleeved up for Phillip. Let's see who your auto is. There's a nice Mickey Mantle DK206 card. Camille is here. Hi, Camille. Camille with the super chat. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Camille is one of our Patreon patrons, and Heather and I stayed up all night, and um, Heather did 90 packages all by herself yesterday, and I was working on all of the ones that had breaks included as well. Probably all said 150 packages all ready to go for tomorrow. Here's the other auto. It's Trent Grissom. Trent Grissom, dual relic auto. Former brewer now with the Padres. There's a nice Gavin Lux rookie card. So you got the future Hall of Famer in Miguel Cabrera, and... Trent Grissom is your hit. Tom A. is here. How's it going, Tom? I'll tell you what, Tom. I took your advice and started looking for some mid-90s boxes of cards, and I, I had to buy them by the case. And, wow, things are really expensive now. The um, the closest I could get without paying, like, I was looking at a box of, like, 97 tops, and it was, like, 
Uh, $550 for a box, for a case, I mean, of 20 boxes, which is insane. Uh, there's, what else did I find? 94 Upper Deck. I looked at that. It was like $600 or $700 for a case. So I settled on some 93 Stadium Club, bought a case of that. Still super expensive. Paid well over $300 for the case. And I see a Super Chat just popped up. 357 Magnus says, hey, Eric, Heather is a legend. Yes, she is. Really appreciate that. Keenan's up right now in spot number 27, by the way. Um, Heather's also a really good left fielder slash shortstop. Uh, made some nice catches today out in the outfield. TSB with a $20 super chat. Thank you very much, TSB. Top Shelf Breaks is here. Make sure you guys check out Top Shelf Breaks, a.k.a. TSB. Says, hi, all. Collect on. I really appreciate that. So here we go. Spot number 27 is up. Tom, if you're wondering where you fall on this break, check out Patreon. I put the uh, the order up there for you guys in the post section. Erie isn't green, and they're just dying to play baseball, says X Chorns. Yeah, you're not in the green zone yet. Some counties in Pennsylvania are green, like my county. We can go out and do basically anything with the you know within reason. So some stores still require you wear masks and such, but... Uh, some counties like Erie are still in that um, guarded yellow zone. So hopefully you guys get in green soon so you can get out there and enjoy um, the summer. We've got a Joe DiMaggio DK Originals card for Keenan. Keenan's actually got two boxes, a nice Gavin Lux. Who sells Diamond Kings? You can get these on Steel City Collectibles. Nice Chipper Jones, Ultimate Diamond King card. Uh Fibber says, I wonder if Panini's ever going to get the rights to the logos back. Nice. Jordan Alvarez, get that sleeved up. I would guess so. I mean, they went and shelled out top dollar to get Mickey Mantle's rights. So, I mean, obviously that wasn't as much as it would cost to get the MLB rights. I hope that maybe they can come to some agreement. There's a nice Beau Bichette. Um Because I, I love the logos, but Panini does a nice job. I don't really notice it too much. I mean, you see there's no socks on the hat. You just kind of get used to it after opening up a lot of it. CC says, would you rather pull an auto or a relic? That's an easy question. For me, it's going to be an autograph. Uh, I guess it really depends on the um, the hit, though, because obviously I'd rather have like a Babe Ruth bat relic or something along those lines than a crappy auto of some middling prospect that appeared once in the major leagues and is just going to fade away. Quote-unquote junk auto, as those do exist. Sometimes you pull some autos that you could probably find for a dollar or two on eBay. Will says, did you like the Nick Gonzalez pick? Pirates picking the shortstop? Yeah, I did. Um, I think they said he won the NCAA batting crown, so that's a good pick. I like position players being picked over... Uh, pitchers in general. How about a Tony Gwynn? Tony Gwynn quad relic. Very nice. And you get a piece of his buttons. I think that's a, a buttonhole right there. Very nice. Tony Gwynn is a Hall of Famer and a solid, solid card right there. I love that one. That's the nice thing about Diamond Kings. They're not afraid to put some nice autos in there. Unfortunately, Tony Gwynn passed away a few years ago. So the only autos that we'd be able to find of his would be the cut autos. And if you don't know what a cut auto is, it's where they take his autograph off of a piece of paper or some other um, document, and um, they cut it out and insert it in the card just like they would a relic. Sometimes you do see that in Diamond Kings. Here comes the autograph, everybody. Let's see what it is for Keenan. It is going to be Danny Mendick again times two, our second Danny Mendick. Get that one top loaded up. Keith Deal says, My first break with you, Jabs. Found the channel and been watching nonstop for three weeks and loving the content. Thanks for having me, brother. Keith, thank you very much for the support. I really appreciate that. I hope you have some great luck when it comes to your box. There's a nice Jordan Alvarez in a little bit. And uh, glad to have you here. And hope you hit that subscribe button and can hang around for the foreseeable future. Lots of uh, good stuff coming up this week. For you guys to check out. I'm really looking forward to Diamond Icons. It's uh, it's like $2,500 per pack, basically. Each box has one pack. And there's Brent's Cards and Coins. It says, hi, Eric. You have the best breaks. Thanks, Brent's Cards and Coins. I appreciate those kind words. 
Hope you guys will check out Brent's Cards and Coins as well. Thank you very much for being here. It's going to be a very break-heavy week this week. There's Daddy Daughter with the link for Brent's if you'd like to check him out. Josh, after tax and stuff on Steel City, these are maybe a little over 90 You can also find them for about 80 to $90 on most websites. Uh, yes, Tom, we are doing... Uh, diamond icons it's filling right now on patreon i posted it what was that last night and 32 out of 40 spots are filled so there's eight spots left if you want to grab one it's a ten thousand dollar case of cards so it's uh it's not for the weak at heart that don't really like to take their risk versus reward uh thing too seriously it is a very very um pricey pricey product at 250 dollars per card which is what it works out to there's Daddy Daughter with the link to the Patreon page if you'd like to check it out. As Keenan is into his next box, Jinian says, I snagged an FOTL box of Diamond Kings and got zero hits. That's terrible. Sorry to hear that. Maybe they rushed your box off the line. The FOTL says uh, or stands for first off the line. And luckily, these are not first off the line. These are all the standard hobby boxes. So here we go. We might have an autograph right here, and it's a not an auto. It's a nice Steven Strasburg World Series champion, Steven Strasburg. It's out of 99, 10 of 99. And Tom says, "What box are you on?" The number right there will indicate what box we're on. We are on box number 28. We did the first 24 on release day, which was Wednesday, and then the cases, the other two cases, these two got delayed. Gavin Lux, they showed up the following day. But Thursday wasn't a live stream day for me, so we saved it for the next time I was live, which is right now. And we're on box 28 as we search. There's a nice each row. Search for our next hit, Tony Gwynn. Larry Walker, Clemente, Brian Abreu. There is a nice Nolan Arenado. Pete Alonso and Mauricio Dubon is the last one there. What do we have next for Keenan? Looking for your autograph. I hope it's a good one for you. And then on deck, it's Kyle K. Yeah, Tom, uh, I'll tell you what. It probably takes me about four to five minutes per box if it gives you an idea of how long it's uh, going to be. I don't know exactly. Maybe uh, maybe like 20 boxes an hour would give you, <laughs> give you an idea. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe 15 an hour. 357 Max says, how will you be doing the 2011 update jumbo? $100 per five cards. I've been wrestling with that for a while, and trying to figure out where it would fit into my schedule in my breaks. I was thinking about doing it this week, but I was like, I really don't want to do five live streams in a week. That seems like a whole lot of live streams. Uh, we already have, what, four new releases coming this week? Actually, you throw in Diamond Icons, it's five. Um, we got, Heather, what do we got? We have Prism on Wednesday. On Friday, we got three. It's Finest, Pro Debut, and Big League. So that's four right there, and then you throw in the Diamond Icons. That's five releases this week already, so the 2011 I'm going to bump back to the following Thursday. And um, to answer your question, 357 Mega, I'm still wrestling with the best way to price that. There's 500 cards in the box. Um, I probably will do it, I don't know, maybe $100. Maybe that that's a good price, five cards for $100. And uh, that's one spot. It would be right around there because those are... Those are really, really uh, crazy, the the uh, prices on those 2011 update boxes with the Mike Trout driving that. There's a nice Jordan Alvarez. Looking for our autograph. There it is, Nico Horner, the rookie card. Nico Horner Auto from the Cubbies. Very, very nice. I like that one. We'll get that one top loaded up. What else do we have there? Dustin May, Eddie Stanky. Eddie Matthews. And Brian Anderson, Eddie Murray, and Mike Piazza is the last one. Perfection47 says, how do I buy into these breaks? Um, well, to buy into the breaks, you go to my Patreon page, and um, you can check it out there. We sell all of them there. Robert says, now you don't even turn the cards in the same direction. Well, Robert, we're going to have like a six-hour break, and there's only, you know, we're gonna, probably going to see each card maybe, oh, I don't know, at least... 40 50 times a piece so what you should do is you should maybe go watch our preview video where we take our time and go through each card if you'd like to see each and every single card 
looked at otherwise will be here, oh, I don't know, if we take 10, 12 minutes a box, it'd be like 600 minutes and t a 10 hour break. So we'd be here until 4 a.m. That's impossible. All right, so Kyle, here we go. Let's see what we can find for you in your box. Uh, CC says, I'm thinking about buying Series 2 2019 Blaster. What I recommend? Heck yeah, 2019. Series 2 is one of my favorite releases from last year with all those good rookies in there. And Todd says, imagine a box with the Cognac and Diamond Trout. That would be nuts. I'm hoping we find at least one trout. Uh, that would be a success for me. And hopefully we can find multiple trouts and some parallels. I would take a gold trout. I would take any kind of parallel numbered trout for sure. And a, one of those diamond anniversary trouts or cognac would be insane. We'll see what happens. It looks like uh, like maybe the end of June we'll do that. Not this throwback Thursday this week, but the following one. All right, Kyle, let's see what we can find in your first stack. We've got Pete Alonso leading things off. There's our first hit. It's Matt Chapman, home run derby participant last year. Matt Chapman, game he's back. Cool card right there. And now, let's see what we can find for the auto. There's Aristides Aquino, rookie card, which is a nice one. Bryce Harper, Bo Bichette, rookie card as well. Yeah, Todd, that's going to be a crazy one. Um, that 2011 Topps Update Jumbo Box will probably eclipse uh, over 1,000 live concurrent viewers, if not more than that. Um, it's going to get pretty nuts around here, and I'm hoping that we can find multiple trouts. Uh, Dark wants us to get some chrome black cases. Yeah, that, that set looked really nice, the chrome black. Um, I will try to track down a few of those cases. Got a Mike Trout DK206 card. All right, Kyle, let's see if we can find your auto right now. And uh, maybe find a one of one while we're at it. Keith says, are you still doing Mystery Box Monday? Yes, we definitely are. That is one that we, that I love doing. Josh says, do Patreons get cards every month or just we sign up? It's every single month. So right now, Heather and I, um, we got all of, of the $26 ones out except for the folks that are in this break. Uh, we, we held those back so we can get those in there and we'll send those tomorrow. All that stuff's going to go out tomorrow. We worked... Many hours this weekend on those. And uh, every, oh, around the middle to later on in the month, we get start packaging those up and send them out by the end of each uh, calendar month. All right, Kyle, let's see what we can find now for you. Let me get some of these wrappers there, kind of like getting into my territory there. Bruce Doc Smith. With a $9.11 Super Chat, says, Hi, loved it and joined a sincere thank you. 40-plus years in the EMS, an MIC paramedic, and national crisis management, 9-11, and Sandy Hook. This is an escape from my PTSD. Bruce Doc Smith, thank you very, very much. Uh, not only for being here tonight and your support of the channel, but thank you for your support of our country and um, going through all of those times of crisis. Um Obviously helped out a ton of people right there. And um, I salute you for um, your service. That is um, awesome, awesome work. And I'm glad that the videos help you out in any way. And uh, I enjoy doing them as well. Let's see what we can find now. There's Here comes the hit. It's going to be an autograph. Hope it's a big one. It is Nico Horner again. So at this time, it is a dual relic and also a autograph so cool one right there of nico horner randy johnson johnny pesky pete rose there is a nice shohei otani with the old style hat on satchel page my dad used to have a satchel page 1953 tops card with a big old punch in the middle like a hole punch someone took a hole punch and just punched the card very very sad that that happened but that was pretty uh one of my favorite cards that he had uh, Todd says, Jabs, even my girlfriend is going to watch the 2011 Tops Update stream. <laughs> well, yeah, call the neighbors, call the, your family and everything. It's going to be a crazy one. 2011 Tops Update coming up um, in late June, probably like June 25th, whatever that Thursday is. I was on BBCE, Baseball Card Exchange, looking for something to do this coming week. They actually have some stuff stocked. Um, they were all out of everything recently, but they've got a lot of new stuff back on there now, like, uh, 
89 upper deck and a lot of the uh, like 84 Donruss and 85 tops and stuff like that, but we've already done those. So I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do this week yet, but I'll find something. Uh, I haven't even sold any spots yet, Gabe, for the 2011 Tops update break, but I'll put those for sale sometime this week for sure. Clay likes Steel City collectibles better than baseball card exchange. Yeah, everybody likes different things. They're both uh, they're both great sites. They're both very reliable, and when I order from them, I have always uh, gotten what I've ordered, and um, it's always arrived promptly, so... Both very reputable sellers. Jacob King says, should I get a 2013 update box? Yeah, that's a great, great box. I think it's like four or $500 a box, though, if you want to foot that bill. Here we go with Gregory. Let's see what we can find for you. There's a nice Aquino rookie card. Got a couple framed ones back-to-back, -back, which is pretty cool. Uh, Clay says, I got a 1990 Toss box from the Baseball Card Exchange. You got... <laughs> two Frank Thomases, both have the names on it. Yeah, that's typical that they will have the names on it. We have a nice AJ Puck. That's going to be one of those Indigo dual relics right there. AJ Puck, one of the top rookies from this year's class. Definitely a top 10 rookie. Um, Lisa says, who do you think is more of a legend, Michael Jordan or Babe Ruth? Well, you know me as a baseball guy, so I've got to say Babe Ruth. There's Luis Robert, although in his sport, Michael Jordan is the legend. We have Shohei Otani and Mike Piazza as well. Gregory's up next. Or the second stack is up now. Let's see if we can find. Kerry said pulled an AJ Puck rookie emoji card out of 2020 Bowman. Nice find right there. Party B says, when are you shipping 2020 Bowman purchases? Well, we already started shipping those out. If you're on the $14 or $26 tier, those are going in the mail on Monday. Um, if not, then later this week, more than likely, as we work through everything. Heather is um, saying we have to get everything out this week. She was, wants to get it done. She is a, a uh, what would you call yourself, Heather, besides a hard worker? She is a completionist. Like, she wants the, is that even a word, Heather? She likes to get the job done and doesn't like to uh, have it, um, you know, drag on. So we had we worked literally all day yesterday. Taskmaster says Lee, that's a good one. We have Jordan Alvarez. Could it be an auto? A Jordan Alvarez autograph for Gregory. That's a big one right there. Arguably one of the best uh, autos you could probably find in this box. Jordan Alvarez, uh, considered by most people to be the number one rookie in the 2020 class. And there we go. I love his auto. Very very unique. Your Don Alvarez auto for Gregory. So box number 30 has our biggest hit of the night. Uh, congratulations on that one, Greg. Probably about a at least a hundred to two hundred dollar card, I would say, somewhere in there. And your Don Alvarez base card follows that one up as well. We have an Anthony Rizzo downtown card. So you also have, I guess those are the case hits right there. So a great box. Number 30 was the lucky number. Your Don Alvarez in the leader spot for the best hit of the night so far. As we go through this numbered gallery of star card right there. Perfect said, who's a bigger legend, Jordan or Walter or Peyton? I would say Jordan, obviously. Uh, I don't know much about other sports, but everybody knows Michael Jordan, at least from my era. There's Ty Cobb. Last couple cards here, we'll go through them. And um, a great Your Don Alvarez for Gregory. Uh, Sam says, I miss Jordan by just a couple boxes. FML, forget my luck. We'll see if uh, you have some luck. You never know. Um, Gregory is back with a second box. So let's see if Gregory can have another hit to match his Jordan Alvarez. We'll see. Let me find a, a good spot. To, I always like to just put a little slit right there in the side of the box. Also, it, uh, I do it because my box cutter is extremely dull right now. I need to get a new blade in there. Here we go. Next box for you, Gregory. Best of luck. We'll split those in half and open six at a time so I can follow along with what you guys are talking about. Joshua says, who's my favorite prospect? Well, I'm looking forward. To, I don't really know if I have a favorite, but I'm looking forward to seeing Wander Franco come up. All the Wander Mania from last year. I've been, I think everyone, he's on everyone's radar. We'll see how he does. 
In terms of MLB talent that's ready, prospects that are ready, I'm really looking forward to seeing Luis Robert come up and um, just absolutely destroy the ball in the uh, middle of that White Sox lineup. Gavin Lux, rookie card for Gregory. I'll get that one in a sleeve for you. Cody Bellinger, frame card. Am I going to unbox any tops? T206. No, I don't have any of the 206 tops. I think you had to order that directly from tops, and I did not do that. So I would have to buy it on the um, secondary market. And our next. How about back to back Jordan Alvarez is a quad relic, Gregory. So Gregory hit the Jordan Alvarez auto in his last box, and he did it again with a quad relic. Very, very nice. Uh, Freddie, that makes sense. I'll just hold your stuff to like Wednesday, Thursday and send your diamond icon so you get everything at once. Very, very nice. Jordan Alvarez quad relic. So, Freddie, you can maybe make a nice... I don't know how you feel about Jordan Alvarez. You can make a nice little eBay listing out of that. Jordan Alvarez auto relic lot. Very, very cool stuff. Emily is here. How's it going? Lisa says, what's your favorite 80s set? Um, that's a good one. I like 87 tops a lot. I like the design of that. Um, 89 was the year I started collecting. So I, that one has a soft spot in my heart, but it's, I don't feel like it's the best set of the 80s. Silent Collector says, hello, Jazz. Pick one MVP, Bellinger, Altuve, or Betts. I'm going to go with Cody Bellinger. Betts had a little bit of a down season last year. And uh, Altuve, we don't know how you know how much he's had assistance with all the uh, Astros stuff going on so that's kind of an easy question for me I'm going with belly bombs out of that list Gregory let's see what your auto is going to be now Ricky game says how do I buy into these breaks I sell them on my patreon page the link is in the description let's see what else we can find uh, it's three dollars per month to be a member of my patreon page 10 cents a day if you're interested in having access to all our breaks, we're going to have lots posted coming up. Here's a nice Tony Gonsolin uh, dual relic and auto. A lot of Dodgers fans very, very high on this guy. They always say, hey, don't forget about Tony Gonsolin. He is going to be a good one as well. Luis Robert rookie card. 84 Fleer update is a very, very nice set. 357 MAGA. Those cards are very much in demand and tough to find. Jordan Alvarez rookie card again. So. Let's see if Gregory left any Jordan Alvarez's for anybody else in the rest of this break. Dustin May rookie card and Bruce Star Gratterall. Freddie says, are you all big on the Prism release? I'm looking forward to the Prism release. That's coming out on Wednesday. Uh, should be a fun one for sure. With all the different colors going on in there. Lots of different parallels. Some people like to complete the rainbow, so to speak. I think I read somewhere that maybe there's like 18 different parallels of every base card in Prism. Lots of stuff going on there. So we'll be looking to do that on Wednesday. Camille's up right now. Best of luck to you, Camille. Spot number 32, and then Shane is in the on-deck circle right now. So here we go with spot number 32. The Clemens in that set says Todd of 84 update just sold for over 2K. It's a crazy card, yep. Really tough to find those. Do I buy directly from Tops? No, I don't, Brent. I buy everything on the secondary market just like everybody else has to. I wish that Tops would partner with me and make it a little easier for me to get their products a little bit earlier. But it is what it is. There's a lot of great stores out there that um, pre-sell cards. You can go through, I think, two of these cases actually are from maybe Dave and Adams. I can't remember exactly where, but... Um, Lots of great uh, different spots you could pick up cards from. Here we go now for Camille. Let's see what we can find for you in spot number 32. So hoping for a nice big auto. Typically, if we have a nice big relic, the auto is kind of lackluster. So we'll see. You can usually tell. It's, how about a Mike Trout? Mike Trout is a big relic right there. Jersey Kings. Mike Trout, so I'm thinking you're going to have a lesser-known rookie auto come your way, Camille. We'll see. A beautiful Mike Trout game-used jersey, which is nice. Those Mike Trout jerseys usually go for around, oh, I don't know, what, about $20 a piece or so, somewhere in that range. 
Let's hopefully have a nice rookie auto of a guy like Gavin Lux or somebody like that. So it's going to be in this stack free, Camille. We're rooting for you. And uh, I see it right there. So let's see what we have. Uh, Clay says, Facebook Marketplace is where it's at for baseball cards. Just saying. Most people don't know what they have. I think my brother still gets a lot of boxes off of there for like pretty cheap. You can't go on eBay because people bid the stuff up. People know what's up on eBay. So maybe I'll check that out. I I guess I'll have to get on Facebook and check that one out. I'm not an, an active Facebook user. I have a Facebook account, but I only use it to get the free music from NCS. No copyright sounds. Sometimes I'd put background music in my videos and I would use NCS, no copyright sounds, to do so. Okay, Camille, let's see what we can find in your stack. Got a Hannes Wagner in there. The autograph should be coming up. Any moment, there's a nice Cody Bellinger. Aristides Aquino will get that one sleeved up. Satchel Page, Keston Hira, Shohei Otani. We have Travis Dermott, Jose Ramirez, Jackie Robinson. Uh, Lisa says, I'm from Australia. That's pretty awesome. From down under Australia. Thank you very much for watching. We have Luis Robert rookie card, which is a very nice one. We'll get that one in a sleeve for you as well. Camille Kyle Lewis rookie with a frame around it. Pete Alonso DK206. Where's the auto at? Here it comes. Hopefully it's a good one. Senor Tops is here with a $1.99 super sticker. Number one fan emoji or foam finger emoji. Thank you very much, Senor Tops. I appreciate that. I hope you guys will check him out. And the auto is Josh Rojas from the Arizona Diamondbacks. So see what I mean? With Diamond Kings, they give you a great relic and then kind of give you a meh auto. It seems like it happens every single box, but that Diamond Kings uh, jersey of Trout is definitely a nice one. It's better than getting two meh hits, though. Is that the correct word, Heather? Heather says yes. Justin K says, this is for all the Diamond Kings in 1990 Donruss. $2 for all 26 Diamond Kings in that set. 1990 Donruss. I was looking at cases, and uh, 90 Donruss cases were like over $200 a case now. Like, what happened? Last year, this time, you could probably buy a whole case of 90 Donruss for like 75 bucks. I guess people were after that Sammy Sosa rookie card because I think I even saw like a 90 Fleer case with m like multiple, multiple bids on it. Shane is up, by the way, for almost $200 for a 90 Fleer case. So even the sets that I consider to be not valuable for like boxes are now valuable as the supply dries up and people go after certain cards. Everything's just gone so sky high. All right, so let's see what we can find now for Shane in spot number 33. Hopefully we get some nice uh, hits for you in your box. This is Frank Thomas, the big hurt. And I believe he was our first auto to find in Diamond Kings. Came out of our preview box. Hopefully we find some more Big Hurt Autos. Diamond Icons, we got a great shot at finding a lot of Hall of Fame Autos and some Diamond uh, cards as well with actual diamonds in the cards. Steven's Card says, just finished another fun sale and stopped in to see these sweet Diamond Kings. Thanks for showing us, Eric. Steven's Cards, thank you very much. I hope you guys will check out Steven's Cards. And thanks for hanging out with us tonight. There's Gavin Lux. There's Daddy Daughter with his link if you'd like to check out. Steven's cards. Let's see what else we have. Frank Thomas, Dylan Cease rookie card. There is an artist proof. It's numbered out of 49, and that is Ichiro artist proof. We also have a frame card coming up. It is Goose uh, Goslin. There's a nice Ty Cobb card right there. Joe Jackson. Armando Guzman is on set, everybody. Armando, how's it going? Thank you very much for being here. Armando, I'm going to try to get your um, your Alan Trammell giving away on Mystery Box Monday tomorrow. Here comes the hit, by the way. It's going to be a, an Anthony Rizzo. It is an Anthony... Whoa, it's a Mother's Day. Very nice. A Mother's Day Anthony Rizzo jersey. 
Very sweet. Our first time seeing that one, as you guys may or may not know, on Mother's Day and also Father's Day. MLB does something a little special. The players wear alternate jerseys that have uh, pink or baby blue and uh, oftentimes wear uh, or use pink bats and all kinds of cool stuff like that. Pink armbands. It's, it's a cool little thing. Like that one. Shane, congrats on finding that one. A Mother's Day. Anthony Rizzo. Armando says that's a nice and rare relic. Yeah, they only wear those one time per season. John says, someone pulled a 92 score triple auto of Musial Mantle and Yastrzemski the other day. Wow, that's that's a crazy hit. 92 score has, yeah, it has those autos built in. Um, I always assumed it was nearly impossible to find them. Uh, we have a hit, right? It's a redemption hit. Check that one out. So, Shane, your hit's going to be a redemption. That might be good. So, you have a really cool. I'm going to save this for last. Flip that upside down. Let's see who your redemption is here. I'm hoping it's a nice one. Hope it's not like a Davey Gruyon redemption. I've seen a lot of his autos inserted into 2020 products so far. We have Luis Robert rookie card, which will get sleeved up for you. Jordan Alvarez rookie card as well. Two Planker. How's it going? Dustin May. Here it comes. It's the very last card. I'm hoping it is a nice one for you. That's an all-time Diamond Kings. I like that one. By the way, um, they make one of those for each team. So they consider Griffey to be the best ever Seattle Mariner, which I would have to agree with. Apologies to Edgar Martinez and also Randy Johnson. All right, so here we go. It is going to be a autograph of... DK Original Signatures. Let's hope it's a nice one. Card number 21, Trevor Hoffman, Hall of Famer Trevor Hoffman. That's a big hit right there for you, Shane. Second all-time in saves to, all, to only Mariano Rivera, Trevor Hoffman signature card and expires next year in December. A nice hit right there for Shane. Congrats on that one for sure. And uh, Shane is back with a whole nother box. New Future says a live jazz break is the best way to grade tests. Thank you very much for listening in. Hope I don't make you miss any uh, incorrect answers as you're going through. Shane now up for box number two. Let's see if we can find now. See if we can top that. Trevor Hoffman. Thank you, Heather. I appreciate that. Heather just changed the trash for me. These fill up pretty quick. These boxes are... Rather very uh, bulky, very cuby. Is that a word, Heather? Heather says, I don't know. All right, so let's see. Yeah, Trevor Hoffman getting it done with the changeup. Well, that was his out pitch, that filthy changeup. And you might remember his 92 Bowman. Trevor Hoffman came up as a light hitting shortstop with the Cincinnati Reds, and then he got. Traded over to the, uh, what was it, Heather? I think he was actually picked in the expansion draft by the Marlins. You might remember his 1993 Top Series 2 Marlins card, which uh, was really cool, and then it eventually ended up with the Padres, and the rest is history for Hoffman. Awesome, awesome pitcher. Used to come into that iconic song. I don't know if I'm allowed to say the first word of it since we're a PG, PG channel. It's... Uh, it's the opposite of Heaven's Bells. Shane, let's see what we have now for you. Kathy, how's it going? Thanks for being here. Ken Griffey Jr. on the back. Uh, VVV just looked it up. QB is not a word, so <laughs> we're making up new words tonight. There's Cody Bellinger. Here comes, there's a thick card in here, so you're going to have an autograph, I do believe. Uh, Aaron Nola, Honus Wagner. There's a Roberto Clemente. Logan Allen, Ty Cobb, Danny Mendick, Matt Theis. Lidsman wants me to flip the cards faster. Um, some people like it faster. Some people like it slower in terms of flipping through the cards. Can't please everybody, so I try to go at a nice, uh, I don't know, somewhere in the middle. We, we have a Dustin May, and it's a Dustin May signature. Very nice out of 99, 35 of 99. And Frank B. Rippin is here, says, nice break. Good luck, guys. Frank B. Rippin, I hope you'll check out his channel as we take a look at this nice Dustin May. 
you usually consider him to be maybe like fifth, sixth, seventh in that range of top rookie cards in the 2020 releases. He's going to be a good one. I know the Dodgers fans like that. And uh, get a piece of a red jersey there. So what what would that be, Heather? Would that be like a uh, Independence Day jersey or uh, Memorial Day? I know sometimes they wear you know red, white, and blue jerseys, but very cool. Dustin May from the Dodgers. Unless it's a piece of his AAA jersey, which would be weird. I don't know. All right, Shane. So you got the nice dust in May. Let's see what we can find now for your relic. Hopefully it's a nice one. We'll see. How many more boxes to go? Well, Ryan, we're going to box number 69 tonight. I had three folks that didn't pay, so I think I'm going to save those three boxes for myself. And uh, so we have plenty more boxes to go. 35 more boxes all said and done. Todd says, Jabs, the 2011 Tops update stream might realistically bring in 2,000 people in here watching live. That would be absolutely crazy. No pressure, though, right? It'll be fun. We'll be going after the Mike Trout Cognac. Complete in the box this year. What's up, Complete in the Box? Some of you guys probably have opened Complete in the Box and had fun going through that. Uh, Doomsday says 2,000 people live. Definitely will be more than that. I think the all-time live record was about 3 point something thousand, 3.4. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, back when we were searching for the Aussie Smith rookie card. All right, Shane, let's see what we can find for you in spot number 34. You already got the dust in May. And now we're looking for your relic, so... There's a nice Garrett Cole in the zone. Card pulled his relic already in the preview video. We have lots of preview videos this week as well. Four different preview videos. I'll do a preview standalone video for you. There's a nice artist proof numbered card of Nolan Ryan out of 49. That's a nice one right there. Found his autograph, by the way, in the tier one break, which was a crazy, crazy hit. Speaking of hits, the relic is coming up any minute now. Actually, it should be at the end of the stack. Is it? There it is, right there. The initials are J. Is that J D? Who do you think that might be, Heather? J D. Uh, okay, it's not J D. I thought it was J D. It's J K. Just kidding, Jose Altuve, and it's not a trash can relic or a buzzer relic. It is actually a piece of his jersey, and this is definitely a jersey that wasn't ripped off of him because he does not allow that because he has a very embarrassing tattoo, or so, so he says, Jose Altuve, Jersey King. Very, very uh, interesting right there. Well, Heather, do you know the story about Jose Altuve? He had a walk-off home run against the Yankees to advance the uh, Astros into the World Series, and it came out afterwards that the Astros were cheating by using trash cans to bang on in the dugout. If it was a fastball, they might not bang it off. If it was a curveball, they might bang once or whatever. They had a whole uh, intricate thing, and it came out after he hit that home run. He was very, very protective and wanted nobody to touch him. He was actually clutching his jersey. He didn't want his jersey ripped off. It came out later that allegedly he would wear buzzers under his jersey, and um, it would buzz to tell what pitch was coming. And uh, he said that um, he didn't want his jersey ripped off because he had an embarrassing tattoo that he didn't want anyone to see. And uh, so... He was one of the best players in the game, but unfortunately, he's been a little bit sullied by that. And uh, some people will believe him, some people won't. Um, I, don't, I don't know what to believe. There's there's no proof out there. MLB did an investigation, weren't able to find any conclusive proof that he did uh, anything wrong. He wasn't suspended. So, unfortunately, in the court of public opinion, Altuve is guilty in some people's eyes. Uh, a mess of things says minute rips each day, all random hobby packs. A mess of things, thank you very much. I checked out a few of your videos today. Make sure you check out a mess of things. It does a nice little kazoo intro and gets it all done in a minute. And Sam Jay says, Let's go, Jabs. Let us pray for a Braves hit. Sam Jay's got 35 and 36. How about a nice Hank Aaron auto or something like that in here? Todd says, I hit the wrong number. I meant 5,000. If we get 5,000 people in here, that would be pretty, pretty crazy for sure. And uh, Ben, really sorry to hear that. Um, that's terrible, man. Um, hopefully everyone's staying safe out there. And uh, thoughts and prayers go out to your family. Sam, let's see if we can find a Braves hit for you right now. I know you'd take a Ronald Acuna Jr. for sure. Ginian says, I can't wait for Altuve to hit 235 next year. That's, that's what I'm really interested in seeing is 
how uh, he performs now that all eyes are going to be on him. And if there was any cheating mechanisms that he used, those will be eliminated. And he'll have to do it on his own talents. One thing that kind of stinks about this whole pandemic is the uh, Astros World Tour has been postponed. And um, the Astros were really going to get it this year from every opposing fan base. Every city they went into, they would have just been booed out of the stadium. Altuve would have really hurt it. Uh, that might be lessened a little bit because we're probably not going to have fans back until next year. So, unfortunately, um, I was looking forward to seeing that, actually, and seeing how he dealt with the pressure and uh, all of the blowback from that. Amessa thing says, how do they get hit 235 times? Yeah, a lot of players. Uh, I think guys like Nick Markakis says he needs to go down, pitch inside, and... Um, Let's see what we can find. And Todd says, if you notice, Altuve was a first pitch hitter. Not sure if that had anything to do with if he knew what was coming or not. It's tough to say since, you know, it's all just hearsay. There's an Anthony K from the Blue Jays autograph, Anthony K. So not the biggest auto name for you, Sam. So it's not a brave, but I'm thinking that might mean you have a nice relic coming up. We'll see. Typically, when you have a eh, not a major auto name, there's a nice Jordan Alvarez rookie card, which will get sleeved up for you for Reggie Jackson. Maybe we'll find a nice hit for you, and hopefully it'll be a brave. Maybe a nice Chipper Jones relic. There's Aristides Aquino. And I think we did pull Ronald Acuna Jr. Jersey King card on, what day was that? Wednesday. We'll see if we can do it again. Silent Collector with some popcorn. Thank you very much, Silent Collector. I really appreciate that. I hope you guys will check out Silent Collector's channel. And uh, I know Sam is anxiously awaiting his relic and hoping he can find a brave. There's the relic. I can see it right there. It's a nice thick card. There's Daddy Daughter of a Silent Collector's channel if you'd like to check him out. Looks like Equine just went to the uh, water cooler and is getting a nice drink of water. Do I think there'll be an MLB season? I do, too, Planker. I think that it's going to be a lot less games than we would have liked. We may only see 70 games or less. Probably will end up being 50 to 70 games, which is ridiculous. Going to see a team that has no business being there, probably like, I don't know, sneaking in the playoffs and maybe winning all of it. They're also thinking about increasing the number of teams in the playoffs to eight per league, which would be 16 teams. Bob Feller. Maybe even the Pirates will make the playoffs. Who knows? Yeah, the, that would be crazy if the Tigers made the playoffs, Ian. The Tigers, of course, only won 47 games last year out of 162. Anybody could get in the playoffs. Yadier Molina, future Hall of Famer, Yadi Molina quad relic. What is the green? I'm thinking the green is the St. Patrick's Day jersey that they wear on March 17th in spring training each year. It's a pretty cool jersey. A nice one right there. Daddy Daughter said I would love that card. A nice-looking Yachty Molina for Sam. Not a Brave, so your first box, you at least got a future Hall of Famer in there. And uh, I like the St. Patrick's Day green jerseys. Have I ever been to Australia? Asked Lisa. No, I haven't, but I would love to travel there maybe once... Uh, all this pandemic stuff goes away, and it's safe to travel again. I'll do so. Pretty expensive to fly there, though. I, I think I just out of pure curiosity, I looked. It's two thousand dollars to fly there, I think, for one person. But I'll check it out, and if uh, I don't know if I go, you'll have to give me some tips on where to where to go. I know you guys got baseball over there, so maybe check out some Australian League baseball. Sam, here's your second box. Looking for your brave hit for you. Joey, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Thanks for being here tonight. Kathy wants us to pull an Aaron Judge. I hope so. We pulled an Aaron Judge on Wednesday. It was his Jersey Kings card. What's the biggest hit so far tonight? The biggest hit so far was Jordan Alvarez autograph. What? And we also had a Mike Trout jersey, which was very, very sweet. Todd says, Jabs, get this. I got an 87 Tops Larkin and McGuire out of a Walgreens Fairfield box. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of those Fairfield boxes just because, I don't know, for $5, usually I don't get anything good, and there's usually a pack of, like, 90 Fleer in there or, like, 1990 Tops Big or something like that. But you can find some cool stuff in there. A very nice Barry Larkin rookie card. I would take that any day. I bought that rookie card at the flea market. When Heather and I went to the flea market two weeks ago, I bought the uh, Barry Larkin 
Actually, a couple Barry Larkin rookie cards for 50 cents a piece. That's a, a good card. Kind of been kind of overlooked sometimes. Barry Larkin, Hall of Famer. Anytime you get a Hall of Fame rookie card for 50 cents, you gotta you gotta take that opportunity. Now, Sam, let's see what we can find for you in your next box. There's Javi Baez looking for a brave hit for you. Juan Soto, you probably hate him since he's a division rival. I'll still get that one in the sleeve. Mike Trout, all-time Diamond Kings. Doomsday says, I got uh, I got one of those 100-card boxes yesterday. I had a pack of opening day. I got a hit of some random guy that never even made it anywhere. That's the thing with those. One in four have a hit. There's Gavin Lux. But typically, those hits are usually guys that, um, I don't know, they're like the quote-unquote garbage autos. Let's see what we have here. It is a redemption, possibly. Let's hope it's a big redemption. Going to flip it over. Make sure it's not Panini points. It's not Panini points. I don't even know if they still do that. But you have a Diamond King signature card coming your way, Sam. Hopefully it's a brave. It is Yoshitomo Sutsugo, the Japanese import, who has a short print in 2020 Diamond Kings and plays for the Rays. Still a cool card nonetheless. If he comes over here and makes a big impact... Uh, Satsuga, that card could be worth something. So I think he's card number 262 or 263 in the 2020 Donruss set. He's got a short print along with Luis Robert. Um, cool hit right there. I'm not exactly sure what it's worth, but still a nice one nonetheless. Now let's hope you have a nice big-time relic in here. Some of you are probably sitting thinking, who? That guy? Darren says, yay, that guy, autograph. Yoshitomo Satsu. Yeah, I can't really tell you much about him. I haven't seen him play personally or even watched any of his highlights on uh, TV. Um, that's the thing. says, my target got Bowman, but they're all sold out. That's, yeah. I think Heather and I went back to Target, like, uh, maybe the next day or the day after when I did the uh, June shopping spree video and everything was gone. Every single box of Bowman. There might have been 50 boxes of Bowman on the shelves. They limit it to two per person, though. Um... So you can only get two per person, which is good. But I guess with everybody wanting Bowman, that two per person probably only made those cards last maybe a couple hours at the most. Here's your next stack. Looking for the Relic now. We already found the Satsugo autograph. Christian Yelich is in there. What do we have? There's a nice Gallery of the Stars. Shohei Otani. Where, oh, there it is. You can see it right down at the bottom. Brand says, my Walmart clearance has better stuff than the whole Target. Well, sometimes the uh, Walmart clearance section is definitely the place to look. Sometimes you find some 2018 Top Series 1, some 2018 Top Series 2. Even I've seen some 2018 Tops update in there, although not recently. And a mess of things says, also starting a series, wow, which one Wednesday? So a mess of things, pumping out the content. Which one Wednesday? Make sure you check him out. Another framed Juan Soto for you, Sam. So... You got two of that card now. And your hit is going to be, let's get right to it here at the back of the box. We've got to get this Aquino sleeved up for you. It is going to be an Anthony Rizzo. Now, is that one going to be a pink Mother's Day as well? Yes, it is. So probably cut from the same jersey there as the previous one we pulled a couple boxes ago. Anthony Rizzo, Mother's Day game used jersey. Very cool stuff right there. Congratulations on that. Sorry, Sam, that we weren't able to find you a brave hit, but... Uh, that Mother's Day jersey is a pretty cool card. And next up, CPSD is in the house. Well, I don't know if he's in the house yet, but he's up to bat. Clem P. Thank you, Heather, for stacking these up. You got the next box. Best of luck to you in the spot number 37. Here we go. Um, Sam, Sam says, the Rizzo and Yachty Rux. Yeah, it could be a lot worse. Yeah, you could have gotten, you know... Some bum. I, I, I do consider Molina to be a future Hall of Famer. Rizzo, I, I don't put him in that category. But you never know. If he continues to play well, maybe he will be someday. Right now, I just consider him to be a, a solid player. Here we go. Let's see what we can find for you now. Emily pulled a Jeff Soup on from her Fairfield boxes. I remember Soup. Former pitcher with the uh, Brewers and also the Pirates for a little while. Mostly not for me, I remember him from the Brewers. He may have even pitched for the Red Sox. I can't exactly remember. Clum, here we go. Keith says, I missed a Super Chat. I do apologize for that. Uh, I got a mess of things. Heather, did I miss a Super Chat? Heather said uh, that she didn't see one. So make sure you check out a mess of things in Which One Wednesday. If you haven't already. Josh pulled a Stanton rookie out of a Fairfield box. 
Yep, that's a good one for sure. 2010. Mike Stanton. A mess of things says, unfortunately, I'm addicted to this very full boxes. I, I don't have a million old cards, so even much of the junk is new to me. Yeah, I'll tell you what a mess of things. I really want to get my all my junk wax cards out of here. I'm thinking about... Uh, actually, I've been having the, the kiddos put them into flat rate boxes for me. I've given them strict instructions, like take a small handful out of each box so you get a mix, mix and match of all different kinds of releases and filling up the uh, flat rate box with them. Probably have like 50 of those made up right now because I can't even park in my garage because there's so many boxes of cards out there from the collections that I buy. There's Aristides Aquino, a rookie card. We'll get that one sleeved up for you, Clem. Random card rips. How's it going? Uh, Jason says, me and my dad are ripping packs and listening in as usual. Love it. That's awesome. How about a nice Richie Ashburn? Our second time pulling him from Diamond Kings. Pulled him on Wednesday. Bat Kings. Richie Ashburn, one of the Philadelphia Phillies legends. Uh, and I mentioned it before. He's got a whole alley named after him at Citizens Bank Park. Ashburn Alley. Nice hit right there. So now I'm thinking that uh, since you have a nice, uh, great old-timer relic, they're probably going to give you a bum autograph. I hope not. Hopefully it's a nice rookie auto of a guy like Lux or... Even a guy like Dustin May would be nice, or Jesus Lusardo. Wyatt, how's it going? Zach says these card designs are nice. I do agree with you on that. Very, very nice designs. Can't wait for tomorrow. Mystery Box Monday coming up. I, I look forward to Mystery Box Mondays. I'm looking forward to doing that one for you. Nice standalone video. I'll put that for sale on Patreon probably tomorrow morning. And then we will... Um, Break that Monday night or do the video Monday night. And then Diamond Icons on Tuesday, which is going to be insane. I'll do Diamond Icons live. So here we go, Clem. Now looking forward, Diamond Icons is going to be Tuesday, Ryan. Wednesday, our typical stream day, is going to be the brand new 2020 Prism. And looks like Heather's watching us live on her phone. You probably heard some feedback there. Sorry about that. I know that I've done that too, Heather, myself, and I've tried to like load up the uh, live chat. I'm an icon. Oh, there she goes again. So just making sure if you didn't hear it, you get a second chance. There's artist proof Buster Posey, numbered out of 49. And here comes your hit. I'm thinking it's Matt Theis, and that's who it is. Matt Theis, there's a dual relic auto right there. Matt Theis is the hit for Clem. Not too bad. Here's the rest of your base cards. We'll go through and show you these bad boys. Kurt Schilling. We have Domingo Leyba. We have a nice Jordan Alvarez DK206 card. Gavin Lux rookie card as well. It's a nice one. Mickey Mantle base. For some reason, card number 33 in this set, which is weird. Best pull tonight, ask Caden. For me, it was still, and still might be after when all said and done. We'll see how it turns out. Jordan Alvarez autograph. So Clem's box is in the books. Next up, spot number 38, and he also has spot number 39. This is for Robert D. Best of luck to you, Robert. Let's see what we can find for you in spot 38. Heather, we started with spot 25, so we're averaging roughly, what, 12 completed boxes per hour? So what do you think? I'm trying to give Heather an idea of when we're going to conclude. Huh? Uh, how many boxes? 45, I think. 45, so... Eh, maybe about a four-hour break. No. Wait. Heather, you're making me do math while I'm opening packs, but I can't do it. Uh, four, we have 48 total tonight, and three weren't sold, so 45 total in the break. So I'm thinking it'll be a grand total of about a four-and-a-half-hour break tonight. So thank you for those of you in here for the long haul with us. We've already done one hour, probably about three more to go. There's Robert D says, pull me some Mariners. Go M's. Robert, we're going to try to find you some Mariners. Dave H says, my wife's name is Heather. You are killing me. Sorry about that, Dave. I'm not talking to her. Um, Heather is seated right next to me and helping me out right now. She actually sleeves everything as we go along and gets it all packaged up and ready to go and actually moves it to our shipping station which used to be known as a dining room. There's Josh Bell, framed card there. Mike Trout, all-time Diamond King. Love that card. 
Uh, Joseph said, I pulled a Julio Rodriguez out of a box of these today. That's a nice one. Definitely J-Rod's a top-notch prospect. There's another top-notch prospect, Luis Robert. He's going to be a big one. Here comes your hit. It is the indigo of Bo Bichette. It is a Bo Bichette numbered out of 25. Very, very nice. They picked a nice one to throw a number on. You get a piece of his uh, the, the jersey stitching there. Very nice stuff. Bo Bichette. Robert with a nice start. Not a Mariner, but um, still a great one. Dave H. said she's watching, too. Well, tell her I said hi. Ken Griffey Jr., unfortunately, that's not going to be the autograph. Uh, David said, I just joined. What's the best hit of the night? The best hit of the night for me has been Jordan Alvarez autograph so far. When does Series 2 come out? Ask NBA Pro. Series 2 comes out on June 26th. It's a Friday. So you have, oh, I don't know, roughly 10 more days to wait. So we'll be breaking a case of that when it comes out. Maybe even more. It is a pretty uh, pretty pricey for Series 2. The cases on that are way up there. You can check them out on Still City Collectibles to see how much a case of Series 2 is. You will maybe be shocked. But looks like people are going to be paying well over $100 per box of that. With, uh, I guess, the only good rookie that I know of. I haven't looked at the uh, checklist yet or even seen if it's out, but... Fairly certain that Luis Robert will be the number one, the number one rookie in there. All right, so here we go. There's Ken Griffey Jr. looking for a Mariner for Robert, and there's a nice Gavin Lux framed rookie card. He already got Bo Bichette. He's got an autograph coming up. Let's see who that auto is going to be. It's coming up very, very soon. I can see it. They're always upside down. Uh, Avery said, I just became a patron on Patreon, really enjoying the content. Get, got me back into the hobby after 25 plus years. Avery, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Welcome back to the hobby and thank you for the support. The auto is going to be Nick Solak. Been seeing a lot of his rookies and autos in 2020 as well. Nice Texas Rangers youngster right there. Nick Solak is the hit. So he's a division rival of the Mariners. Not a Mariner, but Robert, you have one additional box. We'll see what we can do for you. Diamond Kings Bob Feller for the Cleveland Indians. That's a nice one. Rapid Robert. Altuve and Nolan Arenado rounds out that box. Box number 38 for Robert. He's also got box number 39. Let's see what we can find for him. Doomsday said, Solak, the former Yankee. Wish we could have held on to him. Ian Slatter, he says, is Bowen still overpriced? Well, Ian... Depends on what you think overpriced is. Um, some folks might consider anything over retail to be overpriced, like if you can pay $20 if you time it right and get there the day they stock. Or you can pay, I think Bowman Blaster is still going for about $30 a box. All right, Robert, let's see what we can find for you. I mean, at least the Bowman Blasters are coming down so that they're almost... You know, almost, almost retail price. They're still marked up, obviously. Keith says, I have the Tony Gwynn Rookie Fleer card. 1983 Fleer. That is a nice one for sure. I love the 83 Fleer set. Anything 83 is great. With the uh, tree of good rookies in there. With Wade Boggs, Ryan Sandberg, and Tony Gwynn. Great year for collecting. All right, Robert. Let's see if we can find you a nice Griffey in spot number 39 tonight. If I can get your packs open. Show the noisy right there. Can you find Diamond Kings in stores, asked Kevins. Well, I think Diamond Kings, if I'm not mistaken, was a, what was it, a Target-only release last year. So they'll probably be coming on the shelves. Uh, you can definitely find them at your LCS, your local card store. If not, you can just go on one of the uh, sites and order them off uh, Blowout Cards or Steel City Collectibles. Darren said, Nola Rookie would be a good Mariners pull as well. Yeah, that would be a nice one. Gavin Lux, Rookie again. Uh, Mess of Things, I missed your Super Chat. Sorry about that. A Mess of Things says, suggestions for a minute rip packs, 8 to 12 cards. A Mess of Things. Personally, I would say anything hobby would be a nice rip because you have a shot at finding an autograph. I'd also recommend that maybe once a week or once every other week, you go on eBay and buy a hot pack, as people can identify hot packs. Some people sequentially can can find them after opening a couple boxes in the case because some cases are all in the same spots. Some folks just open up a, a bunch of packs and there's one pack left and they haven't found the hit yet. So I would suggest maybe throwing in a hot pack every now and then. 
I've got some things to say, Eric. Is that target storage to set in your garage? <laughs> I've seen that comment several times. No, it's not. I actually have to go out there. That would be pretty funny if it was. And uh, we have our other stack coming up for Robert, spot number 39. Let's see what we can find for you. Patrick, shout out to you. Thanks for watching. Going to have both of your hits coming out of this stack. Robert, best of luck to you. Are there signature cuts in this year's Diamond Kings? Rick, I think there are. We haven't found any yet, though. Fox 39 still haven't found a cut signature. What year would I say Junk Wax era started and ended? Well, that's a great question. What year did they start producing millions and millions of cards? The unofficial start to the Junk Wax era. Some people would consider 81 to be it because that's when all the uh, new the new companies started coming in play with uh, Don Russ and Fleer. Other people might say 1989 as we saw some more folks come into play with uh, 88 maybe, 88, 89. Score came in in 88, upper deck in 89. The height of the junk wax era was probably, I would say 1991 was the absolute height of the junk wax era. Things were getting a little out of control then with just so many cards being produced. There's a very, very nice Juan Soto card. Yes, Todd still hasn't been applied yet. Check out the back. It is a Periental art card. Cool looking card right there. Juan Soto, our first time seeing that one. We'll make sure we get that one sleeved up for you. All right, where's the hits? Here's, oh, how about that one, Robert? Ken Griffey Jr. He asked for a Mariners hit, and he just got a Griffey Jersey, uh, Jersey Kings card. There we go. So ask and you shall receive Ken Griffey Jr. Very, very nice. I know Robert has probably got to be stoked about that bad boy right there. And a mess of things says, definitely plan to rip all hobby for the minute rips. Hot packs are a good idea. Make sure you check out a uh, mess of things. And Robert said, just uh, please give me a Mariners hit and literally deliver him the best Mariner of all time. His jersey card. There's a nice Luis Robert card as well. Let's see your autograph is. Wouldn't that be crazy to get a nice auto as well? Let's see. I'm guessing your auto is going to be kind of a meh auto because you got Ken Griffey Jr. already. And I feel like Diamond Kings really balances their boxes out. So let's see what we have. It is going to be a... Here it comes. It's Matt Thice again. So Matt Thice always um, balancing out the big-time hit. Dual Relic Matt Thice Auto and another Griffey at 206, DK 206 Griffey. So Robert, congratulations on the... Ken Griffey Jr. jersey card. Gotta love that one. He asked for a Mariners hit, and then he receives it. Uh, Todd says, bro, we've pulled some Griffey fire lately. Yeah, a couple weeks ago, we had that numbered out of 25 Ken Griffey Jr. auto, which is pretty amazing. I think Dan got that one. It's like a $700 card. Mark's up right now. Spot number 40. Best of luck to you. Okay, let's see what we can find. I'm not sure if they do or not, Tom. I haven't seen any hot boxes yet, and this is the 40th box that I've opened, so hot box would have more hits. I know they do that with some of their products where they double up the hits for folks. Some, 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 sometimes roughly two per box. Two boxes per case, I should say, are hot boxes. Shout out to you, Kathy. As we go into box number 40 for Mark P. Best of luck to you, Mark. Let's see if we can find you a nice hit or two. Germ Bubbles, I'm hoping not to find any Cedric Mullins. Dark says, gotta go, uh, gotta get to Target on Wednesdays and Fridays when the cards get stocked up. Yep. Some Targets, they're like clockwork. The guy shows up every single day at the same time. It's like they're like a nine to five job. They go to Target A at this time, they stock the shelves, and they go to Target B at this time, Target C. They have the same routes. And unfortunately, some of the, uh, Professional flippers out there know that, and they grab up all the mega boxes and everything. Uh, Hype is here. Said I pulled a terrible Rangers auto out of mine and the Gary Carter Bat Kings relic. Well, yeah, I think anytime you have a Hall of Famer relic, they're gonna give you a lesser named auto, and we've been seeing that throughout all of these boxes. They're I just call them balancing the box out. Uh, Jennifer says that their local card stop is closed and you have to order from eBay. Yep. Um, that definitely stinks. We need more 
local card stores back in there. Back in the day, each town used to have like a couple card stores. There's a nice Vladdy Jr. Gallery of the Stars out of 99. Pete Alonso. Let's see if the hit is in this stack. Kevin, how's it going? Luis Robert, rookie card is a nice one for Mark. And no autograph this one. Uh, Kane says, I wanted Dwight Gooden signed baseball yesterday and was very excited. Congrats on that one. That's a good one. Um, I got a signed baseball from uh, Dave and Adams. I think I bought these cases from Dave and Adams. I can't remember because I buy so many cases from various different outlets and stores and so on. But I remember because I spent X amount of dollars, they gave me uh, my choice of free gifts. And I picked a Ben Sheets signed baseball. So I have a Ben Sheets autographed baseball that I'll give away at some point. It's between Ben Sheets and um, Austin Jackson, I narrowed it down to. I believe like they may have had the best careers out of people that were available. Let's see what else we can find for Mark in his next stack. I like to try to keep the cards going the same way. All right, so let's see what we can find. David said, I went to Target the other day. The shelf was full of Bowman, got some blasters, and hid some and went back for more the next day. Shelf was empty, but the ones I hid were still there. Yeah, I've heard of people doing that. Um, a lot of targets have a limit of two per person. So what people are doing is they are putting more than two in their shopping cart, and then they're pretending like they're shopping in Target and then going and hiding boxes around the store so they can go back and grab them in the future, which is very, very sneaky. I know that uh, True Seekers caught somebody doing that, and um, he went and actually took their box and ended up just buying them. There's Danny Mendick. Uh, your autograph's kind of last. I put it at the bottom of the box there. There's a nice Jonathan Daz out of 49. We'll get that one sleeved up. What else do we have? It is Donnie Waltham. It's a Donnie Waltham from the Mariners. Dual relic and jersey. And let's see, your auto is going to be, or your relic is going to be, an Aaron Judge. So somebody asked for Aaron Judge. And there it is, Aaron Judge, Jersey Kings card for Mark. So Mark, congratulations on that one. And um, yeah, if they don't, uh, notice if they do not uh, monitor the self-checkout very well, you see people sneaking, on, sneaking them that way and getting more than two as well. How much is a box of these? Uh, between $80 and $90 a box, depending on where you go and how much taxes you have to pay on it and what the shipping is. So it varies. Might be more, might be less, depending on um, all of those variables. My, right now, Mike is up, spot number 41. Uh, Ryan says, I've still yet to even see a box of 2020 Bowman in person. You might be in a hot spot for cards then. Or maybe your Target and uh, stores just, um, they don't really enforce the limits and someone just goes and buys all of them. David, not a big score fan. Yeah, people have different likes. I know, I think score is still around and does, what's score? Football now, I think. Walmart has no limits. Oh yeah, people probably just literally grab the entire case of Bowman and just throw it in their shopping cart. The cardboard housing unit included, and then just mosey on over to the self checkout and take everything. There's people at Walmart monitoring that self checkout, have a lot of other stuff that they have to look at, so they're not really paying attention to recognize that. JP Brake says, I've also witnessed inside deals between Walmart employees and the MJ Holding people, the MJ Holding company. That's not good. Uh, JP says, Not worth ratting someone out to lose their job. It's just a shame. Yeah, that's, that is a shame. Um, there's Aristides Aquino. The best thing you can do if you you know something like that is maybe just, um, I don't know, say something to management. Just let them know, hey, these boxes are um, worth a lot of money on the resale market, and uh, I'd like to have a shot at getting one. And uh, I've noticed that, um, I, don't, I don't know if you, I've noticed that this has been going on, and uh, maybe you could just talk to your employees going forward to not... Uh, have anything like that go on anymore let's see we have a clayton kershaw very nice clayton kershaw future hall of famer right there quad relic like that one a lot kershaw from mike joshua says what's the chance of coming up with a live break that uses our patreon cards as the buy-in um i'm not exactly sure what you mean about that are you talking about like the cards that i send you each month that just goes in a flat rate box 
a credit card? Well, uh, if you're asking about using your credit card that you pay for your Patreon with, I'm pretty sure with PayPal, you can source your PayPal with your credit card. So I just don't think I'm understanding the question. Mike, here's your next stack. You already got the Kershaw. You have an autograph coming up. Let's see who it is. Hopefully it is a good one. There's an Ozzy Smith base card on the back. Ryan says, my Walmart has only had the same two packs of 2019 Gallery for the last three weeks. That's the way it's been around here. Still seeing Gallery on the shelves. I guess 2019 Gallery, not the greatest uh, release out there. I wasn't a huge fan of it. It's still kind of cool to, to do. I, those Gallery Monster Boxes had autographs in them at least. They were like $80 a piece though. All right, so here we go. Mike... Best of luck to you. All right, you have an autograph coming. You already had a Clayton Kershaw game used quad relic. Fiber says, first time on a live, what packs would I recommend focusing on for new collectors? If you're new, I would just focus on maybe something lower end for right now. Maybe some Tops Big League when it comes out this Friday. That's a nice, fun release. If you're, new, if you're new to the hobby or back in the hobby, you might want to learn the players a little bit before going out and spending hundreds of dollars for a hobby box. A Jordan Yamamoto is our next hit. It's a dual relic and an auto. Blacktooth is here. How's it going, man? Welcome to tonight's live stream. We've got, uh, there's Jordan Alvarez as well. The best hit so far for those you just asked was Jordan Alvarez. Autograph, a very, very nice hit. And the rest of this box, we have Nichiro and Frankie Lindor for Mike. So spot 41 is in the books. Jason says Northern New Jersey has nothing. Walmart employees in my area are incompetent, and Target is none the better. Every, uh, I guess every location is different. We got a really great, uh, around here, really great uh, Targets have been great. You guys have seen how Target's always stocked around here. We are lucky. I know that anytime I head out to Target for the monthly $100 buy, uh, you guys always say, wow, I wish that Target was near me. Uh, they stock well, and uh, they stock consistently, and um, the employees are ethical enough, and there's no deals going on where they're snapping up all the boxes and flipping them off to the big boys, like the local card store in town or whatever. All right, so... Casey, you've got spot number 42. Maybe you'll find a nice Jackie Robinson. David says, your target looks like the Costco of baseball cards. Yeah. Some people will say that their targets have literally like three dusty packs hanging on the shelves. There is Blotty B. Brian Blotty says, make me happy. Okay, this is your box. So let's see what we can do for you. Best of luck. I'll try to make you happy. Let's get a nice big hit here. Radical Rip says, running a big giveaway at a 140 away. So Radical Rip's doing a big giveaway. I hope you guys will check out Radical Rip's channel and give them some support. Just hit their subscribe button, and then um, you know, whenever it's time to get that giveaway going, you'll be in there. Daddy Daughter's got the link for you right there. 2021 Heritage, Lisa, will be the 72 Tops design. That's the way they do it. They just go right on up the line. So there's a nice Gavin Lux rookie card for Casey, a.k.a. B. Blotty. All right, let's see what we can find for you. Uh, looks like you do have your Relic card coming up near the end of this stack. GG says, Jabs love the channel and really enjoy the Mystery Box Mondays. That's coming up tomorrow. I love doing those ones. I try to find uh, what looks to be a great deal on eBay. Sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. But we'll see what we've got in store tomorrow. I'll put that up for sale probably tomorrow morning on Patreon. Here's the hit. It's a Miguel Cabrera, our second Miggy. It is his game-used um, jersey right there. Miguel Cabrera, probably an away jersey, I would guess, based off the color of that one. Nice hit right there. So now we'll see what we have for... Um, your autograph. Kevin says he loves the Saturday showdown. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. That's a fun one to do. 
All right, so you got future Hall of Famer, Miggy in there, and we shall see what you have for the autograph. David says, what's the point of having his top series two this year when the MLB hasn't played any games? Well, David, it's a business. Tops is a business, and uh, they did help, they held back some veterans, young stars and stuff like that for series two. So there's not going to be many rookies in there, but they need to get that one out there. I think it's a must. Uh, the complete set of tops is going to also be coming out July 1st. So those nice looking hobby sets will be on the shelves at Target around then. Last Rouse Baseball says, I am tired of waiting for Walmart. Nothing I am breaking, or tonight I am breaking something different. Breaking 2020 BBM Hiroshima to uh, Toyo cart from the Japanese League. That's crazy. Last Rouse Baseball. I've only ever seen the Japanese League cards like a couple times in my entire life. People sent me a couple to check out. So check out Last Rouse Baseball if you want to see what that's all about. And 357 Maga says, do you think Series 2 will have retail tins? I honestly think that they will. I mean, the tins were such a hit in Series 1. I can't even find those tins anywhere. I mean, um, they really dried up off the shelves. And once they were gone, they were gone. So, very nice. We got a one of one alert, everybody. It's a Frank Baker one of one from the Philadelphia Phillies. Check that one out. You almost miss it right there. A one of one. The black border for B. Blotty. So, very nice old timer right there. Check out the back of the card. A nice hit for sure. Congratulations on that one. That's actually our first one of one of the night. So we'll get that one taken care of. Very, very nice hit right there. Luis Robert and David says, Wow, I've never seen it actually written out one of one. That's how Panini does their numberings for one of one. Drives me crazy because sometimes I miss them. And your other hit is Isan Diaz. Very, very nice. So, Brian, you got a one of one. You got a future Hall of Famer, Miggy. And Isan Diaz is your autograph as we finish off your box here. It's Jordan Alvarez. Get that one sleeved up for you as well. Aaron Judge is numbered out of 99. Check that one out. Tom says, I think that the Walmart and Target employees are looting for themselves, friends, or relatives. That's not all of them. We can't lump uh, all of them. I would say 99 point whatever percent of Target and Walmart employees probably don't give a darn about the cards. And they're just there doing their job and, you know, working hard. And, you know, they, they got us through this pandemic. So I'm not going to say anything bad about them. But there are probably maybe like one every other store or whatever that is, you know, knows what's up with the cards and might be, you know, buying them before the general public. But I would say 99.9% .9 of them aren't into that game. So here we go. Let's see what we can find now. Thomas, spot number 43, just pulled a one of one. Let's see if you can find a nice hit. Get your box underway. Spot number 43. Any giveaways? Ask Jennifer. Yeah, at the end of the live stream, we're giving away a Stan Musial autograph, which I will have to get my computer ready to go for that one. It's from the Diamond Kings preview video. So here we go. Rick says, I'm taking Friday off of work and sitting and waiting in the card aisle. Laugh out loud. You know what? You are not going to be alone, Rick. You're going to be there with probably like four other guys waiting on the guy. And it's going to be kind of awkward when he comes in. And there's a little group of people waiting for him. I know I would probably hate that if I was stocked in the shelves. And every single location I went to, there's a group of people waiting to rip the boxes I'm carrying open and grab what I have. Just be kind of weird. They should almost like put up a little like perimeter with caution tape to keep people out so you can just do his business. Joe iPhone's here says, are we doing a 2011 Tops update break? Yes, we are. Joe iPhone, we are doing a break. Not this week, but next week. I've got a box of those to do. It's going to be a fun one. And I cannot wait. So, Thomas, here we go. Let's see what we can find for you. Spot number 43. Just pulled a black border one of one. Now let's see if we can pull a nice auto. Jose Altuve, Aristides Aquino, rookie card. We'll get that one sleeved up. Bolts cards, how's it going? Bobby Bradley from the Indians. That's your autograph. Dual relic. 
And also the auto on there, he's uh, a rookie in this year's set. I don't know if I'd put him in the top 10, but he's still a, a nice youngster. You never know what's going to happen with any of these youngsters. A Roberto Clemente framed card. One in every three packs on the framed cards. Kyle Ripken Jr. All right, Thomas, let's see who your relic is going to be. I'm hoping for a nice Hall of Famer. We shall see. Emily wants us to do more Tops Tribute. We'll see. If I do any more Tops Tribute, it will probably be in a 2020 Mixer break, Emily. Do some Tops Tribute, some Heritage, some Top Series 1, some Series 2, some Diamond Kings, Prism, all kinds of stuff. Mix it all. But I don't know if I would do a dedicated Tribute one again. Just because there's so many other new things coming out right now. It'd be hard to keep everything figured out. Museum Collection, I think, comes out in July, Jennifer. It's a nice one. I'm looking forward to that. All right, this one has your relics, so that one's going to be coming up. Rick says, how do you feel about the latest MLB proposal being declined? Um, I'm just getting a little fed up with it, and I wish base baseball should already be underway, at least spring training, and they're, they're just kind of... Uh, wasting time we're just going to end up with like a 40 game season it's going to be a very very disappointing i mean at least we'll still have ba i still think baseball will be played but let's get the season started already so here we go looking for the relic and we'll see who it is for thomas owners don't want to give up the money says zach yeah that's true but they make money hand over fist during usual seasons and uh, the players don't come back and say hey you made uh you know x amount over what you expected in the budget so give us some that's kind of what the owners are doing to the players right now you have chris bryant kb it is out of 99 the indigo dual relic chris bryant out of 99 for thomas Hopefully you like your Cubs. I know Bobby Bleeds Blue would love that card. I don't think he's here yet. Joey Votto, and we got a DK 206 of Mike Trout, and also Juan Soto. Yeah, Rob Manfred needs to step it up here. I know that he doesn't want to like hurt the owner's feelings because they're kind of like his boss or whatever, but Manfred needs to step it up and you know get baseball going for the good of the game. Hits HQ says, appreciate the content. Keep the hits coming. Hits HQ, thank you very much. I hope you'll check out Hits HQ. And uh, let's hope we keep the hits coming right now for Ryan M. Spot number 44. Yeah, 357 MAGA. Are you, are you talking about 2011 Tops Update? I'll probably, instead of having, um, instead of predicting 500 cards in the box, I'll probably make it like 495 um, cards in the box because there will be the manufactured relic and also the regular re relic which will take away a couple cards so it'll probably be like five maybe five cards per spot hundred dollars like uh, someone suggested here we go ryan m let's see what we can find for you in spot number 44 all right so this one feels like a pretty thick pack let's just show you who your relic's going to be right off the top we won't make you wait around, Ryan. You have an Omar Vizquel. Omar Vizquel autograph quad relic. He is going to be a Hall of Famer probably within the next couple years. Um, he almost has 3,000 career hits, 2,900-some hits, and uh, one of the best fielding shortstops of all time. That's a great one right there. Omar Vizquel. Love that card, Ryan. Big hit right there for you. And now you have one other one in here. I just, I felt that one was thick and I really wanted to see it right away. Darren says, greatest shortstop ever. Maybe um, some people would dispute that with you. Uh, definitely not the best overall, all around shortstop ever, but some folks would argue the best fielding shortstop of all time. And then obviously you'd have to put Ozzie Smith in that discussion as well. But that is a beautiful. Omar Vizquel. Let's see what we can find now for Ryan. To go through his other packs. Joe iPhone thinks that Vizquel was a better fielder than Ozzy. Yeah, that's, some people feel like that. Joe iPhone also says Vizquel could hit two as evidenced by his 
2,900 something hits. I wish he would, if he would have played another year or two and, and got the magic 3,000 mark, he would already be in the Hall of Fame. Two more packs, Ryan, and then we'll show you what your hit is. Rick said, I wish that Nomar Garcia Parra played longer. Yep. All right, so let's see what we can find now. There's Jordan Alvarez. We'll, we'll get that one sleeved up for you, Ryan. What else do we have? Justin Verlander, JV. There's Ozzie Smith. Luis Robert, rookie card. We'll get that one sleeved up as well. Mike Trout. Um, we have Trey Mancini and Sam Hilliard. Silent Collector says, Jazz, pick a Cy Young Award, award winner. DeGrom, Scherzer, or uh, Kershaw. Well, I think Kershaw is slightly slowing down just a bit. I still think he's going to be great, but there he is right now. I'm not going to pick him for Cy Young. Um, and I'm going to assume you mean this coming year for 2020. I am going to go ahead and I am going to pick Max Scherzer to be the Cy Young Award winner amongst those three in 2020. Uh, DeGrom has had a great two years. I think he'll still be very, very good again. But to win three Cy Youngs in a, ward, uh, three Cy Youngs in a row... That's getting into Greg Maddox territory right there. How about a nice Wade Boggs? Very, very nice Wade Boggs game used bat. So Ryan with a Legends box right here. Eric Scott, thank you very much for those kind words. Wade Boggs and Omar Vizquel. One's already Hall of Famer, and Omar will be joining him in Cooperstown before too long. You just wait and see. Eric says Scherzer should have won three in a row. Yeah, Scherzer is, uh, he's lights out, and we'll see. Uh, I'm picking him for 2020 amongst those three. We'll see how it turns out after we play the games. There's Juan Soto. Yeah, DeGrom is a monster as well, for sure. Sometimes, though, what happens is the um, the voters will kind of hold the team's performance against you. So if all is all tied up between um, DeGrom and Scherzer, it might be come down to which team fared better i know they do that with the mvp all the time like okay most valuable player how can i put a, an mvp vote towards somebody on a last place team um you know people think about the mvp in different ways mary is up right now spot number 45 best of luck to you mary in spot 45 let's see what we can find for you like that wade boggs a lot CJ wants the top hits. Well, the top hit for me was Jordan Alvarez. Autograph was a very nice one. Also, just pulled a really nice Omar Vizquel that he missed by about a box. Collector Kyle says, hey, Jabs. Collector Kyle, how is it going? Thanks for hanging out with us tonight. Hope you guys will check out Collector Kyle. And Lethal says, do you think Nolan Arnauto will be traded? I know that the Rockies want to trade him, and he kind of wants out of there. We'll see if they can find a taker. They kind of uh, aren't getting along or weren't getting along this offseason. Arnauto signed that nice, big, long-term deal, and after a year, he's all, he's ready to walk out because he was kind of mad that the Rockies weren't being very competitive, or at least in his mind. But we'll see, and we'll also see what we can find for Mary. Uh, Tom says, MVP is the most valuable player, not the most valuable player for the best team. That's how I feel. I agree with you, Tom. And I say it all the time. Barry Bonds got robbed of what should have been his eighth MVP. Um, actually, his first MVP in 1991 by Terry Pendleton, who had terrible stats compared to Bonds. But since the Braves were the, the shocking team, they all the voters went to him. Aristides Aquino will get sleeved up. We also have a hit coming your way, Mary. It is going to be a Frank Thomas Big Hurt Jersey King. Very, very nice. And 357 Maga says, True story, Boggs once drank over 100 adult beverages in one day on a cross-country flight. 357 Maga, that's a pretty crazy story. Um, that is a lot of adult beverages. I'm sure that um, Wade Boggs' liver is... Um, probably not doing too well now, if that is true. Wade Boggs, um, that might be one of those instances where things get embellished over the span of time. 
Um, Eric says 100. I think that would have killed him. It might have been maybe like a dozen or so, and then it just kind of like kept growing the legend of Boggs. Very interesting. I haven't heard that, but I know that um, he definitely is a legend, and um, I like Wade Boggs. Darren says, I heard it was a thousand. Kind of reminds me of that one skit they used to do on Saturday Night Live, Bill Brasky with um, Will Ferrell. Did you ever watch Saturday Night Live, Heather? Heather says no. Bill Brasky. Let's see what we can find now for Mary spot number 25. Rick says that Mickey Mantle loved his drinks back in the day. Yeah, that kind of may have led to a downfall for him. I always wonder what Mantle could have done if he would have stayed healthy and uh, not enjoyed too many adult beverages. Gavin Lux, rookie card. So we got the big hurt for Mary. Now we got to find the auto. Let's see who it's going to be. Cal Ripken pulled his autograph yesterday. There's an out of 49. Hack Wilson, all-time single season, or should, not all-time, single season RBI champion right there. Uh, Mantle's injury in the playoffs changed his something forever, says Joe iPhone. Doesn't quite fit on the screen. Yeah, Mantle got ripped up his knee in spring training there in the early 50s. We have a... Logan Allen is the auto. Dual relic auto right there. That's kind of how it goes. You get a nice hit. Hall of Famer relic. They'll give you a Logan Allen type autograph. Still, it's cool to get the auto. And uh, Panini does, I, they do a pretty good job of balancing out the box. Galaxy said he was 7 4, 5 50 to Bill Brasky. <laughs> I remember those skits. There's Jose Ramirez, 23 of 99. We got the big hurt again, and also Mike Piazza. Steel Sports Card says, keep up the great work, Jabs. Need some big hits tonight. I'll try my best for you. We'll see Jeremy in here in a little bit. Um, coming up soon, I believe you have a spot in the break and uh, rooting for you um, when your spot comes up. Mary's got another spot. Let's do her second spot and see what we can find. All right, so spot number 46. Uh, Josh, what's the lowest and highest amount of money to buy into a live break that you've ever done? I think the highest buying we ever had for a break was, it might have been like $500 for a division of one of those higher-end products. I can't remember if it was National Treasures or whatever, but the AL East used to be a really highly sought-after and uh, very valuable division on some of those divisional breaks where you get every single card from the Yankees, Red Sox, Orioles, Blue Jays, Rays. All right, Mary, let's see what we can find for you now. Matthew Stevens says, for those who haven't tried it yet, margaritas pair well with a jabs break. And Mystery of Joe iPhone says, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. 138 of you have, so thank you very much for doing that, guys. I appreciate that. Seth Burkett says, Jabs, how are you doing tonight? What's the best hit so far? Probably Jordan Alvarez autograph, honestly. I also really like that very nice Omar Vizquel quad Relic Auto was a nice one. Jennifer just hit the button to make it 139. A few other folks did it as well. Thank you very much, guys. I appreciate that. All right, Mary, let's see what we can find now in your spot. Shoeless Joe Jackson, Jackson framed card. There's Luis Robert. Also pulled the Ken Griffey Jr. Relic. Todd, that's right as well. Can't forget that one. I got super excited about that one. Just because we were asked for a Seattle Mariner, and then we go ahead and pull the um, Griffey out of the box that we were asked about. Here comes the redemption for you. Let's see who it's going to be. Your redemption. We'll check that one out here in a second. Let's finish off this stack. There's Gavin Lux. <clears throat> we have Jack Flaherty. Adam says, another great Saturday showdown. Nice win for Dan. That was a nice win for sure. That was very, very close. A very, very close um, finish there by one right heather it was a one differential was one walker bueller is the hit a very nice auto right there for mary walker bueller one of my favorites he's gonna be i don't know if i would i don't know if i'd say the next clayton kershaw but i do think he is going to win a Cy young award at some point that is a good one 
Mary, congratulations on a nice hit in Walker Bueller Redemption right there. It's a hollow silver, so I can't remember what the silvers are. I want to say silvers out of 10, maybe, but I could be wrong on that. So still, it's going to be a nice numbered auto for you, it looks like. Thank you, Todd. I appreciate that. Saturday Showdown was a fun one. Some of you guys suggested I do a higher-end Saturday Showdown where there's a lot more numbered cards. And uh, Tier 1, I figure, why not? Every card's numbered. It was fun. All right, so let's see what we can find now for Marion Spot number 46. Already got your autograph. Now let's go ahead and just see if we can find a nice relic for you. There's a nice Fernando Tatis Jr. Any Transcendent this year. I had an opportunity to buy Transcendent, but I don't really feel like paying $25,000 for a case. Um, it'd be a very, very tough sell. And uh, I asked the uh, seller, you know, you get this VIP party invitation. Is it for one person or two people? Because I guess... Uh, what I was planning on doing was I would go to the party with um, and then I'd raffle off the other spot. We could both go and hang out with all these uh, MLB greats and whatever, but it's only one per person on that VIP invite. So I just said, you know what? I don't think it's worth it. How about Buster Posey? Nice quad relic of three-time World Series champion, former MVP Buster Posey is the, the one right there. And there's Ken Griffey Jr., it's not a golden ticket. It's a party for the Transcendent. You get a VIP invite, Joe. And uh, it's a cool thing they do for Transcendent cases. I think they also they have Bowman Transcendent this year as well, which will be a new one, except you get to hang out with all the youngsters, the uh, prospects in the game. All right, so let's see what we can find out. Nolan versus Robin says, I'm a first-time subscriber. Pointing in the right direction, um, by their son, Galaxy Federal Police. Nolan, thank you very much. Glad that you're here. Jake's up right now. Jake's got two boxes. Let's see what we can find for you, Jake. KM, how's it going? Spot number 47 of Diamond Kings. Hopefully there's some good stuff lurking in this box. Twelve packs per box. <laughs> with two hits Todd says Heather has to be at any card party Heather would you want to go to Las Vegas and she's shaking her head yes <laughs> maybe I could just buy the VIP invite and we could just go I don't know what they sell those for it's probably going to be multiple thousand dollars and um, just do a video from there and hopefully come home with a bunch of free cards and stuff that they give away and maybe try to recoup some of the costs by putting those up for sale. That'd be a fun one for sure. I've never been to Las Vegas ever. Something that I need to get done. Who's my all-time top favorite baseball players? TK, that's a tough one. I'll put Mike Trout in that top five. I'm not exactly sure where. Yeah, Joe, iPhone, good point. Or just buy two cases. That's another way to do it. $50,000 for like 200 cards is a, a little obscene though. We have a nice Tyrone Taylor, Milwaukee Brewers, dual relic indigo hit right there, Tyrone Taylor. So I'm expecting a big autograph in this box. I don't consider Tyrone Taylor to be a very good relic in terms of like name power. So I'm thinking that the auto is going to have some big time name recognition. We'll see if that happens because I feel like they do do a nice job in balancing these boxes out in that fashion. So the autograph is going to be Dale Murphy. That is a nice name right there. Dale Murphy autograph. Very, very nice. Check that one out. Congratulations on that one, Jake. And I know that um, we were looking for a Brave hit earlier. That would have been a crazy Braves hit for Sam. Missed it by a few boxes. Dale Murphy. See, I told you, they do this all the time with Diamond Kings. They balance out their boxes. Uh, if you get a crappy auto, you're, you're going to have a great relic. If you have a great relic, you're going to have a crappy auto. And it's numbered also out of 99. Dale Murphy. Phil says he should be in the Hall of Fame. Um, and then Card King says, good system, bad relic, good auto. Good relic, bad auto. At least, you know, you're not going to get a, you know, double bad... Um, quote-unquote double bad hits in Diamond Kings. I like that. 
If he would have got like a... I have to look at the guy's name because it's so obscure. Tyrone Taylor relic with a like uh, Davy Cruyon auto. I'd be like rolling my eyes like, come on, Panini. You got to do better than that. I haven't seen Jeter in this yet, too, Planker. Thank you, Heather. I like that a lot. Let's see what we can find now. You already got your hits. Ryan Sandberg. Jake, you have a whole other box coming your way. Lewis says the best Murphy card is the 89 upper deck reverse negative. That is a great card if you can find it. There's Luis Robert. Rookie card. Getting that in the sleeve pile. Got a whole system going on. I have a base pile for Heather. I've got a sleeve pile and I've got a top loader pile. And uh, then I pass them off to her once we're done and she takes care of them all and she's waiting for the next stack right here we've got a nice system here heather you know that and it's all because of you yes it is the queen of organization heather there's ryan sandberg dylan cease kurt Schilling, and your last card is ronald bolanos I haven't found his autograph yet but I've seen a few of his autographs pop up every now and then. So Dale Murphy, the cover boy of the 1988 Don Russ box. Autograph is pulled right there. Jake's got a whole nother box coming up. Uh, Lisa says, can you a 91 Upper Deck throwback Thursday? Did you guys know that 91 Upper Deck cases are like $800 to $1,000 a case now? Isn't that crazy for 20 boxes? I was trying to hunt down another case of cards, and I was like, oh, I'll just go buy a case of Upper Deck, pay like $200 for it or whatever. I actually bought a case of 90 Upper Deck, or 91 Upper Deck, for $125. I actually bought three cases like two years ago for $125 a piece, and now they're almost $1,000 a piece, which is insane. Crazy, crazy times. Jake, you're up right now in spot number 38. Let's see what we can find for you. Dawson says, let this guy know if you're going to sell that Murphy Auto. And Todd says, winner of two MVPs. <laughs> and Ginian says, we all missed a bit on stocking up on cases. Yeah, imagine that. Uh, case of 89 tops used to go for $80 to $100 about a year ago. That's 20 boxes for about 100 bucks. Now, $250 to $300 a case. If you can even find them anymore. It's pretty crazy. Hey, there he is. Crazy for cardboard. That always crazy times around here. Yes, indeed. So, Jake, here's your second one. Um, John, the Jordan short print is roughly one in every three wax boxes. So, if you buy a whole case of them, you might find six or seven of the Jordan short print. And that card is, uh, I guess that card is what's driving that set north in terms of value. All right, so Jake, here's your second one. Let's see what else we can find for you in your next box to join your Dale Murphy. <clears throat> Eddie Matthews. Uh, Jesus Lusardo is a nice one. Jesus Lusardo autograph. I would consider him to be the fifth or sixth best rookie in this year's class, and I'm high on him, so I like that one a lot. And Todd says junk wax is no longer junk, especially the boxes. Um, yeah, those old cards, crazy how they've gone up. Aristides Aquino, rookie card. We'll get that one sleeved up for you. Babe Ruth, base card. We have Clayton Kershaw and Randy Arozarena there. Bearded Collector is here. Thank you very much, Bearded, for the dollar super chat. I appreciate that, man. Hope you guys will check out Bearded Collector. Ginian says, it's all your fault, Jabs. You made it fun again. So <laughs> Ginian placing some of the blame for the uh, baseball card market apocalypse in terms of like going through the roof, putting it on my shoulders. That's that's funny. I hope you, if it is having anything to do with me, you don't you're not mad at me for it. I just like to open cards. And 90, 91 upper deck is one I can do without, says Tom A. I'm not a big fan of 91 Upper Deck. If I saw a box of 91 Upper Deck at the flea market for $5, I wouldn't buy it. Talking about an open box. If it was a sealed box, I would buy it. But like a, just like a, a whole lot of those cards. I'm not a big fan of those designs. All right, Jake. Second 
Second pack here. Triple B car breaks in the house now. She's excited for Diamond Icons. I am as well. That's coming in two more days. Let's see what we can find right now. Uh, Connor says, it's every hobby, not just baseball cards. It's because of the stimulus money. Huh. So I guess uh, I haven't really thought about that. I guess in all other hobbies like video games and everything, anything collectible, things shooting up with people getting their X amount of dollars from the government and spending it on stuff they want. I mean, that's what people do when they come across a bunch of money that wasn't in their budget. They go and they spend it. We have, how about this one? Aristides Aquino, dual indigo relic. That's a nice one. Devlin says basketball and football cards are crazy right now. I've heard that that basketball is absolutely nuts. Joker's Tribe is in here. How's it going, man? I don't even see a retail basketball anywhere. A nice Mike Trout frame card. like that one a lot. We'll get that one sleeved up. We got Jordan Alvarez, Triple B. We found a couple nice Anthony Rizzo Mother Day, Mother's Day jersey cards out of this break tonight. Thought of you when I saw them. You probably would have been super stoked to see those. The very nice pink jerseys, which is not usually associated with the Cubbies blue. Spot 49 is up right now. That's for Brayden. Let's see what we can find for you in box number 49 of the evening. Again, we've got a busy week coming up this uh, week, everybody. Uh, they'll all be going for sale on Patreon in the coming days. Tuesday, we've got Diamond Icons, and the break is almost sold out. We've got 32 of 40 spots sold. I have a case of that coming. It's a $10,000 case, so for 40 cards. It's uh, the, the highest of the high in terms of uh, high-end products. We'll be finding lots and lots of Hall of Famers and top rookie autos and relics in there. It's going to be absolutely insane. That's going to be on Tuesday. And then Wednesday, we'll be doing Prism. And, uh, looking for all the different rainbows and stuff like that, all the different colors that come out of those packs. I can't remember how many autos or th there are per box. It might be three per box, which is nice. Lots and lots of different things coming out this coming week. Four products, actually five if I include Diamond Icons, which came out on Friday, but I, um, I was very hesitant to pull the trigger on that, so I... Waited to buy it until actually yesterday. So it should be here on Tuesday. At least that's what I was told. So hopefully UPS doesn't delay my case again. Gavin Lux for Braden. All right, so you got a Gavin Lux. Let's see who your hits are going to be. There's a nice Dylan Cease, Mauricio Dubon, Jordan Yamamoto. Pedro Martinez. Be nice to find one of his autos in this. Here comes your hit. It is going to be a Babe Ruth. We've got a Babe Ruth game used jersey. Our second Babe Ruth relic in the span of one week. We pulled a Babe Ruth game used bat. And, di and uh, I don't even remember the name of it, Heather. What was it? Like uh, Tops Tier 1? No, yeah, Tier 1. And now we have Jersey Kings. Babe Ruth card. How about that one? Check it out. Braden, congratulations. It is numbered out of 25. 20 of 25. Here's the other cards. We'll just put those in the stack right there as we look at this one some more. Nolan says, OMG. So within the span of just a week, we pulled not one, but two Babe Ruth relics. How about that one? This was from his Yankees uniform, too, not his Boston uniform. Really, really cool. Let's check out the back. Enclosed, uh, I can't even read this. The enclosed game-worn, game-used jersey is guaranteed by Panini. So somebody was crazy enough to cut up a Babe Ruth jersey. How about that one? A Babe Ruth for Braden. I don't even know... Um, what do you think this one goes for? There's 25 of these inserted into Diamond King, so I would assume that a few of these have already been found and probably made their way on eBay. 
Um, I think some folks were saying that the bat that we found from tier one was like a two, three, four thousand dollar card. I don't know, Brain. You are definitely a very, very lucky man. Spot number 49. The stitches, yeah, the stitches are missing right there. That is a great one. So Babe Ruth, Jersey Kings card. Love it. Congratulations, Braden, on that one. So you're probably going to get the worst possible autograph of all time in the box just because that's what um, Diamond Kings, they, that's what they do. Like, oh, we'll give him a Babe Ruth jersey. So we'll give him, uh, who who's the worst player of all? Oh, here comes a, uh, I don't want to say it because then people are going to be like, there he goes, picking on Cedric Mullins and Ryan O'Hearn again. Let's see who we have to match the Babe Ruth game use jersey. Very, very nice. I think it's going to be a a downer of an autograph. We're probably going to be like, oh, wow, that's great. But, Braden, you got to be happy about the Babe Ruth. Now, if this is a big-time auto, you're going to have an awesome, awesome box. The Sultan of Swat... Uh, Card King says, hey, Jabs, would you like some 75 tops? I have stacks and stacks. Card King, if you're serious, I would love some some packs of 75 tops. Please send some my way. I'll open them all up on a throwback Thursday and give you a shout-out. And then we can give all those away as a giveaway. Those are definitely very, very highly um, sought-after packs. Aristides Aquino, rookie card. All right, so there's a nice Jesus Lusarda rookie. Just pulled his autograph not too long ago. Dylan Cease framed rookie card there. Who's that auto? I'm just really interested to see how crappy this auto is going to be. It is this is Luis Robert. It is going to be, yep, Travis Dermott. Dual Relic. We've been seeing his cards pop up every now and again. Not worth a whole lot of money, but uh, I don't want to put down any player because we do have Titus fans watching right now and heck he made it a lot farther than I ever made it in the big leagues I never even made it to the big leagues or minor leagues for that matter so very very nice Travis Dermott I'm, I might not even be pronouncing his name right I'll have to watch any highlights of him and see how his name's actually pronounced um, we have Christy Mathewson and Brock Burke is the last one so Brain with a huge Babe Ruth hit right there We'll get those ones sleeved up and top loaded for you, Braden. And Braden is taking another shot. He's got spot 50 as well. I don't know if you'll be able to top your Babe Ruth game used jersey, but you can try. It's the same case. Here we go. Uh, Todd says him and Trent Grissom are everywhere. Yeah, that's that's true. I've been seeing a lot of I've been seeing a lot of Trent Grissom as well, and I, I feel like Travis Dermott is the new Cedric Mullins this year. We'll see how it goes in some of the other releases, but yeah, they uh, they definitely are everywhere. Let's see what we can find now for Braden. Tom says eighteen more boxes to go, and then I am up. So that'll probably be about an hour, Tom. It's it's coming up hour maybe a little more we shall see we got diamond icons on tuesday everybody if you're just joining us it's the ten thousand dollar case of cards two thousand five hundred dollars per pack and um that one will be starting at 8 30 p.m eastern time <clears throat> on tuesday probably will only be about an hour long live stream depending on how crazy i go and how excited i get about the cards i might Literally have the card on the screen for like five minutes a piece when we get a huge hit. And that's going to be happening with Diamond Icons for sure. All right, so Brayden, here we go. Spot number 50. <clears throat> Let's see if we can get a nice, uh, nice another hit. It'd be nice to find a Nolan Ryan signature in here or even a relic. We've got Bryce Harper. There is Frankie Lindor. Luis Robert rookie card. I've been sleeving his cards up all night for you guys as he's one of the top rookies in this class. Is that the hit? Here comes the hit. It's upside down. 
It is going to be a David Ortiz Big Poppy Quad Relic. Very nice. I know Tom A. would have loved to have that one as he's a big Boston Red Sox fan. Big Poppy David Ortiz, future Hall of Famer. Very nice. Like that one a lot. Some people kind of quibble over if Ortiz will be a Hall of Famer or not because he did appear on the 2003 Mitchell Report, but... Arguably, uh, him or Edgar Martinez, depending on who you talk to, best designated hitter of all time. I know Twins fans probably still kick themselves over letting Ortiz get away. Tom says, why can't that be in my box? Well, we'll see. You never know. Maybe you'll get one, too. Let's see what the auto is going to be. Now, David Ortiz is um, a future Hall of Famer, so I'm guessing that the auto is going to be a Trenton Grissom. We shall see what we have now for Braden. So some, some nice hits there. Two ex-Boston Red Sox relics, a Babe Ruth and a David Ortiz. Here we go. Autograph searching. There's a nice Keston here, artist proof out of 49. Pulled his one of one. Sent that off to you today, Tim M., by the way, if you're in here. Well, not today, but I packaged it up and... Um, all ready to go. Let's see. It's probably going to be Isan Diaz, and that's who it is. Isan Diaz, dual relic autograph. That was kind of expected. Not worth a ton of money. Just kind of like a uh, D-level autograph, if that's such a thing. Worth a couple bucks, though, but like I said, they balance their boxes. Uh, Lisa, I sell everything on Patreon. I don't sell on eBay because they charge 10% of the fees, and I just found it to be a lot easier to do it on Patreon. Then I can ship once a month also and with the Patreon packages rather than trying to kill myself by getting 50 to 100 packages sent out every day. All right, Brian, let's see what we have. Um, oh, that's it for you. That was your last stack. Congratulations on your David Ortiz and your Babe Ruth. Some nice hits right there for Brayden. And now we're in spot 51. This is for Elizabeth, a.k.a. Jason. Best of luck to both of you. Here's your box. Spot number 51. Let's find... I've been using this as my entry point in all the boxes all night long. There's Daddy Daughter with the link to get to my Patreon page if you'd like to buy into any of the breaks. Uh, it's a good time to sign up if you'd like to get in the breaks because I haven't put anything for sale for this coming week yet. I haven't put Prism on sale. And I haven't put Pro Debut or Top's Finest or Big League for sale yet. The only thing currently on sale is Diamond Icons and there's eight spots left in that case break. All right, so let's see what we can find now. And uh, looks like I got a question popping up there from DC. It says, do you know where I can order a pre-order box of Series 2? Uh, you can pre-order from Steel City Collectibles if you're thinking about that. Let's see what we have right now. We got Aristides Aquino. This is going to have a hit in it right now. It's Aristides Aquino, Yogi Berra, and the hit is going to be Fernando Tatis Jr., and it is going to be a quad relic out of 25. That's one of the hottest players in the game as well. Fernando Tatis Jr. out of 25, so a nice hit right there for Jason. Love that one. Fernando Tatis rookie cards from 2019 are very, very in-demand products. Uh, his, we've seen his cards shoot up so much that I might, uh, if I was ranking the 2019 rookie class, I might, yeah, I think I'm going to put Tatis number one uh, on my chart right now, value-wise, even ahead of Pete Alonso. Uh, Junkyard Break says, just getting started, and we thank you, Jabs, for the inspiration. You're the man. Check us out, Junkyard Breaks. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. I hope you guys will check out Junkyard Breaks and get in on their channel and give them a follow there. Looks like Heather's looking up your channel right now. I appreciate the support. And Triple B Card Break says, headed back to work. Good luck, guys. Peace and love. Triple B, have a great rest of your evening. There's Daddy Daughter with the link first. For Junkyard Breaks and Triple B, I really appreciate the support. Have a great rest of your work night. And um, maybe you can check out the rest of the break. The last, oh, what do we got left here, Heather? About 18 boxes or so in the replay later tonight once that goes up. Usually after a live stream, it buffers for a little while, depending on how long it is. And then the uh, replay, you can watch it again. How about a very nice Glaber Torres? Modern art. That's a nice looking card. Our first time seeing one of these. 
Check out the back of that one. Glaber Torre. So we'll get that one sleeved up for sure. Vladdy Guerrero Jr. And Miguel Cabrera is the last one. So what's going to join the Tatis quad relic? We'll find out here for Jason. Personally, I'm predict predicting a um, kind of a, a C or D level auto. Maybe a guy like a Michael Bias. Jeff McPherson says, hey, Eric, pull me some fire. You rock. Thank you very much, Jeff. I appreciate that. As I was going through the $14 and $26 stuff, getting all your stuff ready to ship out, I saw you were in Diamond King, so I held your stuff back. And I'll put your Diamond King stuff in and get your stuff sent out tomorrow or Tuesday. Baseball Lover says, who's Heather? Heather is my lovely assistant who helps me out with all these breaks. All right, so here we go. What can we find right now? We have a Gavin Lux rookie card, which is a nice one. We'll get that one sleeved up. Christy Mathewson. Who's that autograph going to be? It is going to... Here it is. It's going to be Zach Collins, it looks like. Yep, Zach Collins. Dual relic autograph. There's your hit for you. To go with the Tatis Jr. The Tatis is a great card. Love that quad relic of Fernando Tatis Jr. So we check out the rest of these cards here. Heather, is there any more cherry pie left? I am. Heather made from scratch a cherry pie. And I don't want to like um, go over the top here, but it was literally the best cherry pie I've ever had in my entire life. What? You eat it now. You're going to eat it now? No, we can't eat it now unless you want to show it on the camera. Uh, Heather might be the best cook I've I've ever come across in my life. And she's like, hey, I got you some, uh, I bought some fresh cherries to make cherry pie. And I was thinking, oh, this is going to be one of those all natural cherry pies that, you know, kind of tastes okay, but isn't that great. Literally, like, amazing stuff. It's all, the, the pie is already half eaten, Armando. Um, but she brought it over tonight for my late night snack. And uh, I'm getting hungry right now because we ate we ate a little early tonight. I probably ate around like 4.30 or so. So I had a few pieces of pizza, but I'm getting hungry again. My favorite pie is cherry pie. And Heather brought me water. Thank you. I appreciate it. Is my voice getting raspy already? Got the uh, Aquafina ready to go. Thank you, Heather. David's up right now. Let's see what we can find for you, David. Best of luck to you. Here's all of your packs. This is going to be your relic. So looks like Kyle just subscribed to Junkyard Breaks. Thanks, Kyle. I appreciate you helping their channel out. Always great when you guys support all of the other affiliate channels out there. We're all in the same community, so make sure you check out everybody. All right, so David, here we go. This is going to be your relic, at least I believe it to be. It's a thicker card. I mean, it could be an autograph relic, but we'll see. Tom is a banana cream pie kind of guy. I, I just, uh, I think my least favorite pie is maybe pumpkin pie, which is kind of weird because I actually grew up raising pumpkins or like growing pumpkins in the backyard all the time. I used to love growing pumpkins. And I don't know. I, I'm not a big pumpkin pie fan. How about a Mike Trout? You got the case hit right there. The downtown Mike Trout card. Very, very nice one right there. Baseball card experts says, what's the bonuses to being a Patreon member? Well, for three dollars a month, there's one uh, perk to that. It's access to all my breaks. You can sign up and take part in our live breaks. You also get to see any content I post over there, um, in terms of one video per month, and then all written postings. Um, there's the nine ninety nine tier, which you get access to all of our videos we do per month. It's uh, about eight videos a month, two per week minimum. You get to watch all of our toss back Tuesdays and our Friday. We had a special. Face Off Friday meets Saturday Showdown this Friday. I was over at Heather ho Heather's house and filmed that one, and we gave all those cards away. I said, hey, everybody, uh, leave what number you think is going to win the uh, Face Off here. So I said, uh, I did like a the Face Off Friday where I laid out the top five cards, and then I pulled the lowest numbered card, and whoever guessed that number got all of the cards, and the card number was 95, and Ray was one of 250 people that guessed and uh, he got it spot on. So he gets all of the cards in his next month's Patreon package. There's Luis Robert. How about a Ricky Henderson? Hall of Famer Ricky Henderson autograph right there. That is a beautiful card right there. Quad relic. 
of Ricky Henderson. Two of his bats, two of his jerseys. An amazing hit right there, numbered out of 49. So we've had some nice ones tonight. A Babe Ruth game used jersey. Lisa, thank you very much. We also had a nice Omar Vizquel quad relic autograph and this is one of my favorite ones as well. I love the older ones, especially with an autograph on there. I used to love how Ricky would always refer to himself as Ricky in the third person. And one of the all-time great players, a beautiful Ricky Henderson. Check that one out. Tom says that's the best hit of the night in his opinion so far. Um, very, very nice. Game-worn jersey right there. Ricky Henderson. Great, great card. Ricky B. Ricky, says Todd. That I love that one. So we pulled Ken Griffey Jr. jersey tonight. Jordan Alvarez relic and also quad jersey. That's a great hit. David, congratulations on that one. And we're not done yet. We still have... Uh, how many boxes left do we have? Um, probably about... I think we're going to 69 boxes total. I'm going to save a few of these boxes for myself. So we still have about 17 boxes left or so. And I know that uh, some of you guys that are coming up, like Keith, are thinking, dang, I hope there's a Hall of Fame hit in mine. We shall see. So we just hit a Ricky Henderson. Let's see if the good old Panini balance box thing is going on again. See how crappy the auto is in terms of uh, value. Obviously, any player uh, is a great player that, has been in the big leagues, but here we go. The autograph is going to be, it is Donnie Walton from the Seattle Mariners, and uh, that's our relic. So, yeah, they already got the autograph. I meant relic. 686 of 99, Donnie Walton. Nice uh, jersey there. Some of you might be thinking who? Robert would know who that is. Robert D., who got the King Griffey Jr. Big Seattle Mariners fan. Here's the rest of your cards. We'll just scroll on through them. Christopher says, who is Donnie Walton? I guess a lot of you are probably thinking that right now as uh, I'm right there with you. Ricky Henderson for David. That is very, very nice. And Todd says, Jeff, you need to do live breaks five times a week. That would be fun for sure, but I just, uh, I usually like to stick to two per week um, just so I can have time to do some other stuff. And, um, yeah, five. it's going to be five, what, four or five this coming week. This is going to be our biggest live stream week ever. And um, then after that, it'll slow down again. But for some reason, all the uh, products that were supposed to be coming out during the pandemic, they kind of pushed them back to this week. And TSB, Top Shelf Breaks, with a very generous super chat right there. Top Shelf, thank you very much. I hope you guys will check out Top Shelf Breaks if you haven't already. Um Heather stepped out of the room for a second. I hope you guys will check out Top Shelf Breaks. If uh, Daddy Daughter wants to drop that link in there, a very generous super chat. Keith, you're up right now. Let's see what we can find for you. There's Daddy Daughter with Top Shelf Breaks link. I hope all 400 plus folks of you guys watching right now will check that one out. David says, Jab's got me back in the hobby. Thanks, David. I appreciate that. Congratulations on that. Ricky Henderson, a huge... Huge hit right there. Wesley, thank you for the kind words. I appreciate that. Yeah, how about that? A Ricky Henderson quad jersey relic. A great, great hit right there. Let's see if Keith can get a nice big hit too. I'm wishing you best of luck, Keith. And Jeremy from Steel's uh, card is coming up right now. Or actually next. Donnie Walton was a fifth round pick by Seattle in 2016, says Andrew. Andrew's another big... Mariners fan. Remember that. So here we go. Keith Deal, there he is. Said, I almost got beat up by Ricky Henderson. Long story. Maybe I'll share it with you someday, Jabs. Picture evidence. Keith Deal, I, I want to hear this story. I think uh, everyone else in here wants to know as well. Almost got beat up by Ricky Henderson. What could you have possibly done? Did you ask for his autograph and not take no for an answer and followed him? I know that players get really mad about that. I see that in first person, just uh, standing around PNC Park before the game. Uh, I see the autograph hounds literally chase the players um, over across the Clemente Bridge and hound them. I wouldn't like that either. He said he has picture evidence, so um, 
maybe he'll let us know. There's a nice Jordan Alvarez artist palette card right there. Bryce Harper. Here comes the hit. Maybe. Nope, that's just going to be a diamond king of Mike Piazza. Pete Alonso. So your hits are all going to come out of your next stack. Heather, I think you missed it. Did you see the Ricky Henderson? Oh, it's a nice one. Heather is looking at it right now. That is a nice one. Gerg says, Jeff, so happy to be part of my first break with you. Longtime fan, first time breaker. Well, welcome to the break. I'm glad you're participating. I really appreciate your support. Glad to have you in here live. And Will says, I think that downtown set, those case hits, has some sneaky value to them. Yeah, they're pretty cool. I like finding those. Hopefully we find... I think we found two of them tonight, so it might be all that we have. But actually, maybe we might find two more. I can't remember if they're uh, per inner case or per master case. The downtown trout is worth over $100, says Vladdy Dinger. That's an awesome hit for sure. A big-time case hit of Mike Trout. Keith, here we go. All of your hits are going to be in this one. So here we go. We have Roger Maris. The hits are going to be coming up in this stack very shortly. So you won't have to wait too much longer, Keith. You've already been waiting for 140 minutes so far. Your first hit is going to be Mike Trout. So that's a nice one. Mike Trout Jersey Kings card. A nice game-used Mike Trout jersey. Check out the back of that one. The enclosed game-worn jersey is guaranteed by Panini. Very, very nice one. Right there, Joshua's mom doesn't believe that we're actually live right now. So shout out to you, Cheryl. And thank you for letting your son watch. Uh, I appreciate that. So Mike Trout game used jersey. And now we're going to have your autograph, which is going to be kind of a crap auto, I do believe, since you got a Mike Trout jersey. It never fails with Diamond Kings. These boxes are very, very balanced. Landis says, how do you get on my Patreon page? The link is in the description. You can sign up for it with PayPal or a credit card. And uh, Patreon is a it's a website that will handle all the, that processing. Here comes the hit. It is this guy. Yep, it's that kind of auto. It's Rico Garcia from the San Francisco Giants. So dual relic Rico Garcia to go with the Mike Trout. That's just the way it goes. If you get a really great relic like a Mike Trout, they're going to even out the box with a an, an auto like that one. Bears Fury says, talking about Mike Trout and just pulled his Trout jersey king. I know. Good timing, I guess. And here he is. Jeremy Steele is up right now. Best of luck to you in spot number 54. Let's pull the next box off. I got all the boxes lined up right here. So we'll just pull them on down off the line as we go along. Um, this is next one up. So here we go. Spot number 54 for Jeremy. Where's my insertion point? I always like to start right here. Got to get a new box cutter since this one's so dull. All right, Jeremy, spot number 54. 54. Price says, I wonder how much these boxes would go for if there was no, or if there were logos on all the, you know, well, maybe a little bit more. I'm sure more people would be into Panini products if they had logos, but they do a nice job, as you've seen, with their hits. Eagle Man says, I wonder when card supplies will be cheaper again. Yeah, tell me about it. A bla Not a blaster, but a pack of these was like $15 after shipping on eBay. So I was like, Forget that. And Heather and I hopped in the car and I was like, let's get the Hokie G's before other people realize that top loaders are crazily priced. So we drove about an hour, 10 minutes, and I bought every single top loader they have in the entire store. $3.79. You used to be able to get these at the LCS for about $2 a piece. Um, unfortunately, Ultra Pro and BCW shut down for like two months during the pandemic. So all of their supplies, uh, inventory dried up and... Um, a little bit tougher to find right now. I'm not sure what they're going for now on eBay. It's been a few weeks since I've looked, but top loader is very expensive right now compared to what they should be. Uh, luckily, we were able to get a bunch of those, so we're probably set for a few weeks on top loaders, as I always need top loaders. Sam the Coins Master. I didn't get a chance to watch that documentary about McGuire and Sosa yet. I don't have cable, so Heather doesn't have cable either, so I don't know when I would get a chance to do that. Here we go with Jeremy's first stack. Let's see what we can find. There's your hit. You do have a hit. Nice, thick card. Probably the relic. 
Could be the auto, though, as you've seen with the Ricky Henderson. Sometimes they have the auto on them. And it's an Albert Alzole autograph out of 25. 15 of 25. Nice piece of jersey there. You can check that out. I'm not sure what, what that top one came from. Maybe a road gray. I, I'm not exactly sure what that is. But nice patch on that one, says Christopher. Very, very nice. Andrew says, honestly, in my opinion, Panini makes way nicer cards than tops. Hopefully you can get an MLB license. Yeah, they do a nice job for sure. Without having the license, they do a nice job. I like their hits, and I'm expecting a big-time hit for a relic of a top-notch star player or a Hall of Famer from this box to kind of even out the Adbert Alzale. No offense to him, but, you know, it's not the biggest name. Stewie's Coins and Card says, Always a pleasure to catch a live jab stream Loving the stream so far. Stewie's Coins and Cards, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Uh, thank you for being here, and I hope you guys will check out Stewie's channel as well. As we look for our next big hit, should be a nice relic. We shall see what we can find. And Tots of Jazz, what, uh, which box would you take as a gift? 83 Tops or 84 Donruss? Well... That's a really tough question. Um, they're both kind of similar in price. I saw 84 Donruss is like 700 some dollars on uh, baseball card exchange. Personally though, I would probably take the uh, Topps box, 83 Topps, just because triple the chance of finding a good rookie card in there of um, Boggs, Sandberg, or Gwynn. And uh, I've always been a Topps guy all throughout my collecting days. They're all awesome boxes. I need this. I need to probably do another 83 tops break soon. I think we did it one time and it was absolutely a, it was an amazing amazing box. I think we pulled like 3 Tony Gwynn rookie cards out of it. Here's the hit. I'm expecting a big name and it is a big name. It's Gavin Lux, 13 at 25. Uh, not a Hall of Famer or a top-notch star, but he is a top-notch prospect. Number 2 right there. The Indigo relic. Gavin Lux, a nice one for Jeremy. It's numbered out of 25 as well. Here's the rest of your base cards. And uh, Mel Ott. I always, uh, some of you are probably like, well, just skip the base cards, just go to the next box. But I like to go through, because you never know when there's going to be a one-of-one one or a numbered card. And Heather and I always go through and make sure that we sleeve up the numbered cards for you. Here we go. Next box up is what we get Jeremy's stuff passed along to Heather. It's for Enrique. Enrique, your stuff, by the way, is sitting all ready to go. I almost package it up today, but I realized you're in Diamond Kings tonight, so I'm going to get your Diamond Kings sent out also in your package. So here we go. Diamond Kings next box off the shelf. Spot number 55. Let's see what we can find for you. Enrique R. Spot 55. Fortune Soldier says, my first break. And Todd's got the stats. Three Gwyns and one box. Did we get a Sandberg too, Todd? It's crazy how many Gwyns we got. I do remember the high amount of Gwyn, uh, Tony Gwynn cards. Three of them. I can't remember if we got Sandberg, though. I would like to pull all three from the same box. That's a nice representation of a break. Well, we might have to do it again and go after the Sandberg, then. 83 tops. I like that design a lot. Bolts card says, there was one Sandberg, I'm pretty sure. I'm going to have to go back and watch that now. Heather, you feel like watching an 83 tops break tonight? Heather says, sure. Spoiler alert, there's a lot of Tony Gwynn rookie cards pulled out of there, and I probably like get all excited about that. So, Enrique, let's see what we can find now. For you, your first hit is Anthony K, and it is going to be an autograph. So, Anthony K, not the biggest name right there. So, you're going to have a nice relic coming your way, as every single one has been nice and balanced. Steel Sports Card says, I will take that, Jabs. Have a good night. Thanks, Heather, for your hard work, too. Steel Sports Cards, thank you very much. We really appreciate that. Thanks for participating in the break, and I hope you guys will check out Steel Sports Cards. There's Daddy Daughter with the link for Jeremy's channel. Make sure you guys check him out. As there's a nice Jordan Alvarez. We'll get that one sleeved up. As we look for our 
Next hit, which will be a relic and hopefully a big one. Someone asked when's Optic going to be released. It's, I, it's not in June, so it's either going to be later in July or um, August. I'm not exactly sure which. I haven't looked that far ahead. I think I looked as far ahead as like uh, July 14th or something like that. I'm trying to kind of like um, balance things out right now. Rick says, you're a lucky guy to have your girl into cards. My girl gets annoyed when I watch breaks, always throws earplugs at me. That's funny. Heather and I just work very, very well together. And Around the Diamond says, sitting outside watching the sunset and jabs. Around the Diamond, thank you very much. It sounds picturesque. It's um, not quite sunset here yet, but uh, looks kind of dreary outside. Not very sunny, so... I'm glad you're having a nice evening around the diamond. There's the link by Daddy Daughter. I hope you guys will check out their channel and give them some support as we look for our next big auto. I'm hoping it's another Hall of Famer. We'll see here in a second. So it's going, there's a Mickey Cochran. That's going to be an artist proof card numbered out of 49. And Nick says, I still don't understand why the Cubs traded Alo Jimenez for Quintana. That's, uh, that's you know, that's the way you got to, when you're going for it, you got to go for it, I guess. Sometimes it works out. Sometimes it doesn't. There's Jordan Alvarez. Andrew's looking forward to Prism. Me too. That comes out on Wednesday. And your hit is Max Scherzer. A very nice hit right there. The Indigo Max Scherzer, who is one of the best pitchers in the game. And somebody asked me earlier, I think it was Silent Collector, said, who do you have for Cy Young this year? I picked Scherzer of DeGrom and Kershaw, so that's a nice one right there. I told you they balance these boxes out. They give you a top-notch star or a Hall of Famer if they give you a crappy auto. Been seen in every single box right now. Around the Diamond lives in Central PA. That's pretty awesome. There's Gavin Lux. I love Central PA. have a lot of uh, family up there. There's Kyle Lewis. Clay says, Jabs, I've learned a lot from you about who to look out for. Thanks. I've been a little behind Clay. Well, that's what happens. If you've been out of the hobby like most people, I went through the same thing. I got back in the hobby. I was like, okay, i got to figure this all out again. All these autographs, relics, parallels, who's good, who's not. But glad to have you back and uh, glad that you're getting caught up. And Will Christian says, I like how they balance these boxes out. It's a nice touch. Yeah, I like that as well. All right, uh, let's see if Russ has the magic touch right now. Spot number 56. Best of luck to you. Bolt says, do I think the players from the steroid era should be in the Hall of Fame? Yes, I do. It's part of baseball history, so um, I believe that that era should be represented in some way. How they do it, that's up to them. But you can't just act like it didn't happen. I mean, I grew up during those years. And I want to be able to go back and tell my kids all about... Um, Everything when I was a kid. So, Russ, this is going to be your one of your hits. Very, very thick. So, that's going to be probably a relic. You can see that super thick card right there. Caden, you missed some great crazy hits. We pulled a Babe Ruth game use jersey. We also pulled a beautiful Ricky Henderson quad relic autograph. Some great stuff within the past uh, 30 minutes to an hour. So let me get Russ's name on the screen there. Around the time, said steroid era was the best. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was a fun time for sure. All the home runs being hit. No matter how you feel about it, you have to admit the '90s was a fun time for baseball. Some colorful characters. All right, so Russ, here we go. Let's get your hit in there as well. We'll do it all in this stack. Jose Barrios is right there. Lou Gehrig. Um, we've got Miggy, aficionado card. We've got Anthony Rizzo. There's Javi Baez. Hank Greenberg. Trevor Story. That's a nice one. Ryan Sandberg. Christy Mathewson. Gavin Lux, rookie card. We'll get that one sleeved up. Um, for us with a specific request. There he is. says, Aquino Auto, please. We'll try. He asked for Aquino. He gets Jeff McNeil, and it is going to be a, a quad relic. Some cool material right there. Looks like you might have a piece of a batting glove, a piece of a bat, a piece of a sock, and a piece of his jersey with a pinstripe. So that is really awesome. 
Uh, it's out of 25. I'm thinking that's what it is. Batting glove, bat, sock. I don't know if you can see the texture on that, but um, I'll do my best. Um, piece of a sock and a piece of the jersey. Very cool. Jeff McNeil out of 25. Had a great, great season last year. Really put his name on the map. So he wants the um, he wants Aristides Aquino as his autograph. We'll see if we can do that. I mean, Jeff McNeil's not the biggest name. Kind of uh, a little bit underlooked, but those of us that know about baseball know that McNeil's a great player. Doomsday says, I'm not the biggest fan of relics, but that sort of card is really neat. Plus, McNeil is also really talented. Yes, he is. I like that they put the... Uh, all those different types of relics on there. Mike says MLB management and MLB PA Player Association need to get their <laughs> their heads out of their keisters and think of the fans instead. I agree. I agree with you 100%. Let's go. Let's get the season underway. Uh, this is creating a lot of bad blood between those two for when the CBA is up. And uh, I think after the 2021 season is the CBA up, the collective bargaining agreement. Might be some frosty waters between those two parties after everything that's gone on right now, fighting about compensation. So here we go. Uh, Mr. K says, there's not going to be an MLB season this year. No one's going to yield. If that's the case, they're going to take a big hit, a big-time hit in the uh, court of public opinion with fans. A lot of fans are going to be like, you know what? Forget you guys. There's a Kino, not the autograph that we're after. Nice card, Ken Jr., frame card. For the good of the game, they need to get back, and I think they will. There's Ichiro. Uh, Jack says, hey, big Orioles fan here. When do you think our team will be a playoff-worthy team again? Probably five years or more. Sorry to say that, but you guys got a ways to go. And Gavin Lux autograph. How about that one? So, Russ, you got Jeff McNeil, which I consider that to be a pretty good relic. It was out of 25 with uh, four different ones. I I almost thought you might have been in, in a store for a kind of a crappy auto, but you got a nice one right there. Gavin Lux, a great pull, says Doomsday. It's a dual relic and his auto. Congrats on that one. Rust with a big hit right there. Got to take that one. That definitely was a great box. Here's the rest of your cards. Russ will just show them to you. And uh, Bolt says, Boom Machine activated on the Gavin Lux. There's Robert. We'll get Luis Robert sleeved up. So no Aquino like you requested, but that Gavin Lux, I would say that the Lux is better than the Aquino in my personal humble opinion. Congratulations on that one, Russ. And next up, spot number 57 is Greg T. Heather's watching some highlights of our uh, baseball today. Anything good on there? Any good shots of me making any nice catches or pitches, I guess? I'm like the designated pitcher. You got one of my catches? Come back here. Some unseen footage of our baseball practices. Heather's watching right now. All right, Greg, spot number 57. Let's see what we can find for you. Okay, and I can't remember what numbers they were. You'll just have to probably... Uh, I don't know. Rewatch the whole thing, I guess. Within the last hour, I would say. All right, so here we go. Greg, what can we find for you in your spot 57? This feels like the relic spot right here. It's thicker. Diamond King's not doing the spacers this year. So if I were you personally, I would not buy these, at, like, I don't know, an LCS unless you really trusted the guy. Just because it's very, very easy to fill the packs up and... Uh, that one obviously is going to... I'll even show you. Look, there it is right there. See that relic? You can automatically feel the packs, and you'll feel one that's a little thicker, and that's going to have your relic or your relic auto in there. And as you've seen, at least half the boxes have relic autos in them. All right, so here's that first stack for Greg. Let's see who that relic is going to be. Drew says, best of luck. Thank you, Drew. All right, Greg, let's see if you have any luck there. There's your relic coming up in approximately about, oh, I don't know, 12 cards. Here it comes. It is going to be a Jose Barrios. Jose Barrios. It's an autograph. Very nice. An autograph of the Minnesota Twins ace, Jose Barrios, quad relic and auto out of 49. I really like Jose Barrios. I think he's going to be a great, great pitcher for years to come. 
Nice one right there. Jose Barrios. We'll see how Panini values his card and see if they give you a, a crap relic to offset that. I think that's a pretty good hit right there. We'll see if um, the folks stuffing these boxes agreed with you. Here's the rest of your base cards, or agree with me, I should say. So your relic will be in one of these packs. Ryan says, nice quad relic auto. Not too bad. Doomsday said if he could stay healthy, he has all the tools to be a top pitcher in baseball. Yes. This one is going to be a relic. I told you so. I'll show you. See the thick card right there? That's the relic. You can feel it in the pack, like, after one second. That's why I strongly recommend you buy your own box of these off the internet rather than just buying a pack by pack for... I guess these would be probably, oh, I don't know, $8 a pack or something like that if you were to buy these at an LCS, $7, $8 a pack, 12 packs per box. John, John, thank you very much. Appreciate the kind words. Let's see who that relic is going to be right now. Aaron Judge framed card. The relic is going to, how about a very nice looking Ken Griffey Jr. That is a beautiful looking card right there. Ken Griffey Jr., Diamond King icon in the background. Love that card. We'll get that one sleeved up for sure. And your hit is going to be... It's the Aquino, and it is going to be a dual relic. Aristides Aquino. Very nice. So a nice box. Eric says, what does LCS mean? LCS means local card store. A little acronym for your local baseball card store. And here's the rest of your cards. You got the Aquino. So Russ just missed out on the Aquino by about a box, I think. And uh, I know he was requesting that, but you got to take the Gavin Lux if you can get him. Had that nice Gavin Lux auto. All right, so we'll get these passed off to Heather. And next up, spot number 58 is for K&L Enterprises, a.k.a. Lori. So let's see what we can find for you. Gerd says, loving this break. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Get some of these packs out of here. Well, the wrappers, I should say. All right, so 58, we're going to 69 tonight. The last three boxes are unsold. So the last one will be spot 69, and then we will be done. 70, 71, and 72 I'm going to put in my inventory. All right, so there we go. Eric says, I don't have an LCS around me. I've looked, and there's none around. That's terrible. Lori's up right now. Heather's sitting in a nice padded chair from the dining room. Someone want to know what you're sitting in. I'm sitting on my wooden stool. <laughs> Sam, the coins master, says, did I do the giveaway yet? No, not yet. That'll be at the very end for the Stan Musial autograph. Todd says, Jabs, you pulled Gwyn's in back-to-back -back packs in the 83 toss box. Yeah, that was pretty crazy for sure. Yes, she did get her coffee today around the diamond. She picked that one up right after baseball. Got Domingo Leba. Burt Bly 11. There's Javi Baez. Babe Ruth. Here comes your first hit, Gavin Lux, and it's going to be A.J. Puck. For K and L, that's going to be one of those indigo relics, quad relic of AJ Puck. That's a nice one. What else do we have? Mickey Mantle. There's a nice Frank Thomas, Mookie Betts. And it looks like you're going to have to wait for your autograph, Lori, from the second one. Baseball card expert says, "Who's Heather? She's standing right behind me, and she's my lovely assistant." Next pack up, we got Craig Bishy on the back. Looking for the autograph. Hope it's a big one. I'm, I don't know. AJ Puck, I wonder how Panini values him. I, he's a pretty good prospect, but I'm hoping you have a nice big time superstar auto in here. 
for KNL. Bill Seitz is on deck, by the way. So, Bill, you're going to have spot 59 and 60. And here we go. All right, so who is it going to be? I would love it to be King Griffey Jr. We shall see who we have. We have a... Where is it going to be? It's always flipped upside down, so you know it's coming. And it's going to be a redemption. A good old-fashioned redemption card coming our way. There is the downtown card. Anthony Rendon downtown. Like that one a lot. We'll get that one sleeved up. It's the case. Hit of the next inner box. One hit per inner. And Mike says, I really wish they would bring back the Flair card design. Best set ever. Yeah, I like Flair. We did a Flair break, uh, I don't know, a few weeks ago. It was a fun one for sure. We did 94 Flair. All right, let's see who that's going to be. It's a redemption card. So sometimes they're great, sometimes they're not. Let's hope it's great. Our last redemption we pulled was a Walker Bueller. This one is going to be a diamond. Oh, it's a quad material, hollow blue. Card number one, it might be a good one. The first one of the set. Who's it going to be for Lori? It is going to be an Aaron Judge. Very, very nice. Aaron Judge autograph quad relic. Love that one. So, K&L, congratulations on a beautiful looking Aaron. No, no, we don't know if it's beautiful looking or not. It probably is beautiful looking. I imagine it would look just like the Ricky Henderson quad relic auto that we just found not too long ago. That is a nice one. K&L. Big hit right there. Congrats on that bad boy. And um, we'll get that one sleeved up. And Bill missed out on that one by one box. But we'll see who he has in spot number 59. I, if I'm not mistaken, I think Bill's from the New York area. So I know he would have loved that Aaron Judge. I'm hoping we can get a nice big hit for him in spot 59. And um, I guess Bill has one spot. I thought he had two, but it looks like he has 59. Shane has spot 60. So here we go. 59 is for... Bill. Michael says, this is why I love this channel. Pools like those. Spot 59. Ron says, hey guys, why do they do redemptions? Well, they exist because they weren't able to get the player to sign the autograph in time before the um, release day. They weren't able to track down judge maybe he was on a honeymoon somewhere or maybe he was traveling abroad i don't know what the deal is but that's uh what happens and um they have the card all ready to go but they weren't able to track the player down so that's sometimes what happens with those so bill let's see what we can find for you right now in your next pack stack i should say Shane says, no matter what these cards are, they're beautiful, in my opinion. They are very nice. I like the designs. So, looks like you got maybe an auto or a relic right there. We'll see. Todd says, even 91 Fleers went up. Yeah, there's no junk wax boxes anymore. No, there's no such thing as $5 wax boxes. Everything's like, at minimum, 12 to 15 There's a nice Clayton Kershaw out of 49 It's the Artist Proof card. I'm thinking we there's a nice Luis Robert. Get that one sleeved up as well for you, Bill. So here we go. I think the uh, the hit's coming. I do see it upside down. It is going to be a Fernando Tatis Jr. Is it going to be autographed? It's not auto at all. Man, I wish that was going to have a nice auto on there. Our second Tatis Jr., of the evening we already had the quad relic i uh, like that one a lot we got goldschmidt flaherty jordan alvarez which is a nice one another jordan alvarez all right so we got the bat kings game used jersey or, um bat kings game used bat obviously now let's see what the auto is going to be for bill best of luck to you bill hope it's a good one we shall see what we have Coming up. Fingers are getting a little tired here, Heather. 
opening so many packs, I'm becoming less uh, adept at ripping these open here. How much were these boxes to get in on, asked David. These were uh, $87, and usually, depending on where you get them from, they're $80 to $90 before tax and before shipping. It's not carpal tunnel, it's just um, I, I'm losing the uh, skill there to get them ripped open so easily. There's your hit right there. That's going to be the autograph. It looks like a quad, or not a quad, but a dual relic auto. Let's see who you have. There's a nice Ken Griffey Jr. Your hit is going to be a Yu Chang from the Indians. And people have told me once again, Yu Chang is going to be a good one. He's kind of a sleeper of a player right there. Uh, he could end up being a, a great player. We'll see about that. Cleveland Indian Yu Chang is the second hit. I half expected that since they gave you a major star re relic with the Tatis Jr. Here's the rest of your cards. Nice Ken Griffey Jr. right there. We have Rico Garcia, Frank Thomas. There's the, the Aquino rookie card. We'll get that one sleeved up as well. Kane says, excited for when you break Diamond Icons. That is going to be a crazy one. Um, Diamond Icons on Tuesday around 8.30 p.m. Probably only have like an hour to get through the entire case as there's only 40 cards in there. But there's going to be some crazy, crazy stuff coming out of Diamond Icons, and I can't wait for that. Uh, Clay says, Diamond Icons has to be the highest of high-end products. Yes, it is. Well, I guess I can go one step higher than Diamond Icons. That would be Transcendence, the $25,000 per case. This one's $10,000 a case, which is still crazy. The difference between the two is with the Transcendent case, you get a VIP invite to go hang out in Las Vegas with a bunch of stars. So I feel like that's factored into the price. The uh, quality of cards are probably about the same in each box. Shane's up right now in spot number 60. Let's see what we can find for you, Shane, in your spot number 60. Box number 60 of the Diamond Kings break. Armando got a Diamond Kings numbered Clemente out of 25. That's pretty awesome. Here we go. FDC family cards had seen a Griffey Trout auto book one of one pulled from Diamond Icons. Well... That's the kind of stuff that we're looking for in there. And I'm sure we'll find some crazy books and stuff in our case as well. Fingers crossed we do. It's going to be a great, great night to uh, open cards on Tuesday. I can't wait for that, Heather. It's going to be crazy. Some of those cards have diamonds in them, Heather. Like actual diamonds. I remember pulled a Ken Griffey Jr. with a diamond uh, card, a diamond right in the middle of it. Uh, Todd says, hey, Jabs, just an idea. I would consider a raffle for the 2011 Tops update box as far as the number of uh, that what as far as what number of pack people are in the that way they don't pick too much card value at stake. Well, Todd, the way I'm going to do the uh, 2011 Tops update, it's going to be everyone gets a spot and the spots either going to be for two cards, three, two, three, four, five cards, whatever it is. I'm going to run a randomization live. So maybe you'd be placed in this spot four, let's say. And if um, if you're in spot four, then you'd get cards number or whatever that would be. Uh, it depends. Like if I only did two cards lots, then spot one would get one and two. Two would get three and four. Three would get five and six. And you would get seven and eight out of the packs. And we just keep going like that. And you could buy multiple spots. And um, that's the way we're probably going to do that. It's probably the easiest one. Manly says, is the price different for uh, if you live in Canada for Patreon? Luis Robert, rookie card. We'll get that sleeved up. Well, the price isn't different, but the uh, whole process of shipping is different. I only ship every, oh, I don't know, four or five months to Canada because it costs so much for me to send. Uh, so I just I accrue your packages in a sh on a shelf, and then I send them every several months. That way you can still participate. We've got a nice... I hope it's a nice one. A nice redemption coming up. Our first redemption, well, not our first one, but our last redemption was an Aaron Judge Quad Relic Auto. This one is going to be a Frank Thomas Hollow Silver. So our second Frank Thomas Hollow Silver right there. I like that one not a lot. So the Big Hurt Hall of Famer. Shane, your relic is going to be probably a Trent Grissom or a... 
Who's the other one, Heather? Some some random guy. Donnie Wal Waltham. Just make up a name of some, some prospect. Here we go. Uh, Michael says, should I buy Diamond Kings for my LCS? If the price is right and it fits your budget and this is a product that you seem to be enjoying, yeah, why not? As you see, you're at least guaranteed one good hit, which is nice. One major star, top rookie, or Hall of Famer. And they balance the box out. We've seen, like, literally every box they've done that with. So here we go. Uh, there's your autograph right at the very end, Shane. Or your relic, I should say. Junkyard Breaks is signing off. Love the live breaks. Thanks, Jabs. Junkyard Breaks. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. If you haven't already checked out Junkyard Breaks, please do so before you do anything else. It's a nice Jordan Alvarez and Luis Robert. We'll get both of those sleeved up. Nice Gavin Lux also getting the sleeve pile. I appreciate the support. Junkyard Breaks, hopefully you're having a nice evening, and I hope you have a great rest of your evening as we go through. And now look for that relic. Uh, Sesento, I do believe there will be a baseball season. I'm just not sure how many games it'll be. There's Dead Daughter with the link to Junkyard Breaks if you'd like to check their channel out. Here comes the hit. David Sims of the $3 Patreon cards. Well, you guys don't get cards sent to you each month, but for your breaks, those are roughly every 30 days or so. So after I get all of the uh, Patreon packages sent out for the folks that receive a monthly package, I'll work on yours. Alex Bregman is your hit. So... I guess that would be now considered a crappy relic since Bregman, despite usually being considered one of the great players in the American League before the whole scandal, um, not a whole lot of people respect him anymore. Bat Kings, Alex Bregman is the second hit. So all told, a pretty good box with a Frank Thomas and Alex Bregman. Um, Bregman, former number two runner-up for the American League MVP. So Shane, thank you very much. Calvin is up next. Let's see what we can find for Calvin and Box number 61. My back is so itchy right now. If you would, please. I got a really bad sunburn on Wednesday. And um, <laughs> after the break on Wednesday, um, I showed Heather my sunburn. And she said, oh, my G-O-D. Because it was so just completely sunburned. Because we worked outside on Wednesday on the pool. And I was vacuuming the pool outside. And um, the burn really set in, I guess. And I, I was really feeling it by the evening. And uh, it's feeling better now, though. It's just itchy now. So does it look like it's peeling back there at all? Yeah. So Calvin's up right now. I don't know why, but when you have like a, a sunburn, it's about to peel. Nothing feels better than just a little back scratch. 61 for Calvin. Armando said, I got roasted kayaking yesterday. It hurts a little. Heck, yeah, that stuff does hurt. Nothing worse than having a sunburn. So a little public service announcement. If you are going to be outside, make sure that you put proper um, protection on. Don't do what I did and um, bake yourself there, even unintentionally. All right, Calvin, 61. Let's see if you get a nice Roger Maris relic. That would be pretty crazy. 61 for number 61. Or the 61 home runs that he hit in 1961, I should say. Where do you get the Utz cards, ask around the diamond? I do believe, I haven't bought any Utz potato chips, but they are put into the Utz potato chips uh, packaging. And Kyle Lewis is the first hit rookie from the Mariners. That's a nice auto right there. Nice uh, Kyle Lewis. I would probably, I would definitely put him in the top 10 rookies. Maybe down in the uh, 6 through 10 spot of my list of 2020 rookies. But a nice one right there. Kyle Lewis, rookie auto. GB just joined the stream. Thank you very much for being here, GB card openings. I appreciate that. Welcome. All right, so here we go. AJ Puck, now we have to find our relic. So the question is, do or does Panini think of Kyle Lewis as a crap auto or not? I would say no. 
But we'll see how they balance this box out. Usually what we've been seeing, if you, if you get a nice auto, they give you a crappy relic of a guy you've never heard of, and if you, and vice versa. Now uh, we got Christian Yelich, Hack Wilson, Aaron Nola. There's a Yachty Molina and Justin Verlander, good old JV. All right, so here comes your relic for Calvin. Todd says Trent Grissom incoming. We shall see about that. Andrew says Kyle Lewis is a beast. Yeah, he's going to be a good one, I think. Is Roberto Clemente in my top 10 favorite player list? I would say not. I never got to see him personally play. So, I mean, maybe, um, maybe top 10 Pirates, but I don't know. I don't think I'd put him in my top 10 all time. All right, so here we go. Calvin, what can we find for you? We've got a nice framed Ken Griffey Jr. card. All-time Diamond Kings card. Who is your... We've got to get... Robert in the sleeve. Who is going to be your hit? It is going to... Here it comes. Is it Justice Sheffield? It is going to be... No, it's a JV Justin Verlander. A very nice box indeed. An indigo Justin Verlander, who is a surefire Hall of Famer right there. So I guess they didn't really consider that uh, Kyle Lewis to be a great auto, but it was a good auto in my opinion. The last draft baseball says the Yu Chang you pulled earlier is supposed to be good, but Wang... Pu Young, a.k.a. the King, who plays in Japan, is considered the best player from Taiwan. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that name right. I know the Josh Young. It looks like Jung, but it's pronounced Young. People have corrected me on that one. So that's pretty awesome. So last drops, thank you for the information there. The Yu Chang is supposed to be pretty good, and uh, we'll see how the other guy turns out as well. You're Don Alvarez. Some of you guys probably are Googling that name right now. Let's see what else we can find. We got Reggie Jackson right there. We've got Hannes Wagner, Aaron Judge, Ken Griffey Jr. It looks like GB Card Openings just subbed to you. So thank you very much, GBs, for checking out Last Wraps Baseball. And Calvin, that's your box. Congratulations on the Justin Verlander relic and also the nice Kyle Lewis autograph. And now we're in with 62. Brandon is up right now. Brandon C., best of luck to you. What's, what's going to be in your box? Jeff is on deck, so I know Jeff was in here earlier. So, Jeff, you don't have to wait too much longer, maybe about five more minutes for us to get to your box. Just had a little snafu there, Heather. Caught my thumb underneath a, a little, little blood thing underneath the thumb. Hopefully it doesn't start coming out. Um, I don't know how that happened. They got this pesky little ridge right here, and I reached in and snagged it on that bad boy. Uh, just have to monitor that. If there's blood coming out, then I'm going to have to probably get a Band-Aid, or you're going to have to take over for me. <laughs> I'll have to like, open all the packs like this. <laughs> Luckily, it happened at the end. Silent Collector with a piece of cherry pie making me hungry. Oh, I think it'll be okay. I'll just be a little careful with that finger. Unfortunately, that's my uh, anchor thumb there as I open the packs. There's Daddy Daughter with the link for Silent Collector. Luckily, Diamond Icons won't be hard to do um, because there's only um, one pack per box. So here we go. Brandon, this is going to be your relic. It feels like a thick card right there. We'll see what we have in there. Jeb's blood makes it a one of one. It's not, uh, it looks like it's staying underneath the fingernail for now, which is good. All right, so here we go. Let's see what we can find for you. Nachum, how's it going? I got Joe Cronin on the top. Albert Alzale is going to be your first hit. There's the auto. Uh, so you might have a very nice relic coming your way. Let's see what we can find for you. Hopefully it's a good one. 
Um, I would probably wager that you're going to pull a nice top star or Hall of Fame relic, as that's usually what we see. Albert Alzale. There it is. Justin Verlander, future Hall of Famer quad relic right there. So, Brandon, you got both your hits out of the way very early. Albert Alzale is your rookie card, and we have yet another Justin Verlander in, uh, what was that, back-to-back -back boxes. Very, very nice right there. JV, future Hall of Fame quad relic. Very, very nice. Let's see what else you have in your box. Check out those other packs. We'll get the Aquino sleeved up for you. Trevor Story is the last card there. Hanson said, Jabs to go to the Card Collector's Hall of Fame. I don't think there is such a thing. Uh, that'd be cool if they had like a card collector's wing in the Hall of Fame, but I don't know. Here we go. Next up for Brandon, spot number 62. Finish off your packs. See if we can find any numbered cards. Painty's been pretty darn good about sticking to the two hits per box. I don't think we've been shorted at all, and I don't think we've gotten more than two hits at all. They've been right on the money with all of these. All right, so here we go. Looks like all base cards in there. We'll check them out, though, nonetheless. We got Hack... Well, Heather... <laughs> Heather went and got me a Band-Aid. Thank you so much. I didn't even know I had Band-Aids. Where'd you get this at? <laughs> um, I think it's... you think I need it? Heather says, you probably don't need it. Well, we should have that in the safety kit for when I cut myself with a box cutter alive while opening cards. It's not, not happened yet. Um, I have cut myself with a box cutter before while opening... Um, the boxes and cases I've nicked myself before. But that's all been off camera. The UPS guy comes, I get all excited, and I want to rip the, the uh, case open and check out the design of the box and everything. And nicked my thumb here or there. There's Tony Gwynn, your last card. So, Brandon, congratulations on your JV Justin Verlander. Nice one right there. And next up, spot number 63. This is going to Jeff. So, Jeff, 63. Let's see what we can find for you. Get some of this trash out of the way, these wrappers. All right, I've got to be a little more careful this time. I don't even know how that happened last time. I think I went like this, and I think I must have gone in here and then caught it on one of those edges. So I'm going to be careful for our last six or seven boxes, whatever we have left. Here's these. Jeff, you're up right now. Car Collector says, have you ever gone to the Hall of Fame? Yeah, the last time I was at the Hall of Fame was, I think, 2011. So it's been almost a decade. I need to go back. We should go, Heather. Heather says, let's go. Well, why don't we do a little research to see if they're open and can maybe make a trip of it over the summer at some point. This one, by the way, has the hit, so Jeff, I'm going to save that and put that at the bottom of your stack. Where's the Hall of Fame? The Hall of Fame is located in Cooperstown, New York. I feel like it's like an eight-hour drive for us, though. You may not... I think so. When I went through before, it seemed like it took forever. Somebody with MapQuest, check out um, Pittsburgh to Cooperstown, New York, and see how long that takes. All right, so I think you might actually have both of your hits. Uh, I felt two thick packs. See those two thick cards, Jeff? You might have two of your hits in back to back. Heather, are you searching it right now on MapQuest? How? Six and a half hours with breaks, gas, eating. Yeah, it'll be about eight, plus the way I drive, right? <laughs> Heather criticized me today for driving a little slow. There's Jordan Alvarez. Gavin Lux, Mickey Mantle, Frank Thomas. We have Dylan Cease. Here comes the hit. It's going to be Joe Palumbo. So I'm thinking that you're going to have a nice relic coming up. Uh, Moose says, pre-pandemic, did you hug your FedEx and UPS guy upon deliveries? No, I didn't do that. Uh, that'd be a little weird, but I definitely was excited to see them. Tommy's Break says, hey, Jabs and friends, hope you're doing well. Thank you very much, Tommy's Breaks. I hope you guys will check out Tommy's Breaks channel and give them some support. Thank you for being here tonight. There's Daddy Daughter with the link. Please click on that link and go to their channel and give them a subscription. And here we go. The hit's going to be Lou Gehrig. 
the Iron Horse himself, Lou Gehrig. So we pulled Babe Ruth, and now we pulled his teammate from the 27 Murders Row, Lou Gehrig. How about that? Lou Gehrig, number four. Babe Ruth would wear number three for batting third. Lou Gehrig would wear number four for batting four. 2,130 consecutive games. This is the first Lou Gehrig relic I've ever pulled. Jeff, you were in here earlier, and I appreciate your support. And how about that one? Lou Gehrig, eight of 25. Around the diamond says, the luckiest man on the face of the earth. Yes, that was the speech that Lou Gehrig gave. Uh, gave one of the great speeches ever as he walked away from baseball, um, not un really understanding what exactly was wrong with him at the time. Uh, it was given a bad break there, and it turned out that he had ALS, now uh, commonly referred to as Lou Gehrig's disease. And um, I think within a year after that speech, he actually passed away. So a uh, very, very sad uh, end to his life, but a great, great player right there. Jeff, I love this card. Congratulations. Check that game-used Lou Gehrig jersey out. Awesome, awesome hit right there. Congratulations. I knew it. I told you. A big hit. They give you Joe Palumbo, uh, kind of like a, I don't want to call it a crap auto, but that's kind of what Panini does. Very, very nice. Lou Gehrig. We pulled Babe Ruth and Lou Gehrig tonight. How about that? Two great relics. See, there's good stuff in Diamond Kings, as we've seen with this. We've got, got a nice enough sample size now to see that they do put the good stuff in here. Lewis says Joe DiMaggio next. I would love that. All right, let's see what we can find for Jeff. What's been the best hit so far? I don't even know, Max. Um, Babe Ruth, game used. Lou Gehrig, game used. Ricky Henderson, quad, game used. And uh, an autograph on the Ricky Henderson as well. Some great stuff. Jeff, let's finish off your box. Here's your base cards. Jordan Alvarez is going to get sleeved up. Maybe we'll find a Ty Cobb. I've, we found Ty Cobb's bat uh, last year. Nice Jordan Alvarez framed card. We'll get that one framed. Not We'll get it framed. It's already framed. We'll get it sleeved up for you. Big time hit right now. Todd says, Heather, is your eardrum blown out right now? <laughs> Heather always loves it when I get a big hit because I start pointing at her and stuff. <laughs> I do my call and I always try to face away from the card when I start like getting all excited because I don't want to spin on it. So I like look towards her and point. And uh, how about that? Billy Williams out of 49. Nice card right there. Clayton Kershaw, Babe Ruth. And Frank Thomas is the last one right there. So one more time before Heather takes care of this one and gets it all sleeved up and top-loaded and protected. Lou Gehrig, very, very nice for Jeff. Congratulations on that one. Love that card. Daddy Daughter says she's got to get that camera put up in the corner so we can have that Jabs reaction video. Yeah, she has some very uh, interesting slash funny footage of me pulling some cards from uh, her point of view. Spot 64 as we wind down. Only about five boxes left. 64, 65, 66. Yep, no, six boxes left, including this one. Let's see what Kamal can find. Maybe there'll be another big-time relic coming your way. I hope so. Todd says that that Gary would sell on eBay in a flash. Yeah, that would be... <laughs> That would be a good one for sure. <clears throat> Joe Jackson next, says Robert. We'll see about that. All right, so come on. Let's see what we can find for you. Um, they want you to open a pack, Heather. What? Dr. Nick? Oh, Dr. Nick. Okay. So is this come on, Dr. Nick, you said? How much are these boxes? $87 a piece. And Goody says Stan Musial next. We're going to give away that Stan Musial autograph. Heather is busy right now. She's, um, what? Heather is busy. She's currently top, top loading the hits, sleeving the cards, and also team bagging them. And then she's labeling the back of uh, all the hits so there's no mix-ups and getting sent to the wrong person and everything. She's made everything so much easier. There's Abraham Toro. 
Let's see what else do we have. We have a nice Javi Baez. Is there gonna is there going to be any hits in this stack? I'm not sure. Uh, Goody says, how do you get in on the giveaway? Well, I believe it was in my Diamond Kings uh, video that I explained that. You'll have to go and watch that. Keith, thank you very much. I appreciate that. All right, Kamal. So you're going to have both of your hits coming out of this particular stack. Let's get these cards turned around. This makes it easier to sort through. This will be one of them. This pack is super thick. There's your, your first hit right there. Robert says, Abner Doubleday Relic next. The uh, grandfather, a.k.a. creator of baseball. A lot of people consider him to be the founding father of the game as we know it. And this one might have your other one in there. We'll see if it's see that thick card. Mm, maybe not. This will be it. It's a thicker card. All right, so Kamal, let's see. Here comes your hits. We got Aristides Aquino on the top. We've got a nice Mike Trout frame card in there. Beautiful looking card. I love the, uh, I feel like uh, the all time Diamond Kings that are framed are the best looking frame cards by far. Here comes your first hit. Can we match the Lou Gehrig or the Babe Ruth? We, we get kind of close, a Mike Trout dual relic. So, very, very nice hit right there for Kamal. A bat and also a jersey of Mike Trout, the best player of our generation. 30 of 99. At least this is the baseball player ever been in on the chat. Yeah, we've had Matt Antonelli in here a couple times. We've had, um, who else have we had? Mike Basic's been here. Uh, former pitcher for the Nationals. There is a Keston Hira. Frame card, Babe Ruth. So, since you have Mike Trout, you're probably going to get a crappy auto. <laughs> Trout says, Mark Twain autograph next. You'll see. It's, they're they're going to balance it out for sure with a crappy auto. It is going to be Andres Munoz. No offense to Munoz, but um, not the most valuable autograph out there, as expected. And Roberto Clemente said, Kamal, congratulations on the Mike Trout. Numbered relic, a very nice hit right there. Numbered out of 99, 30 of 99. Very, very nice. Dr. Nix, as long as I got that trout, I'm happy. That is a nice trout. Nice also that has a number on it, so thank you very much. And Nico is up next, spot number 65. Let's see what we can find for Nico. I'm gonna dispose of some of these wrappers, give myself some space. So we are winding down here. We have uh, just a few more boxes left. And then it'll be time to say goodnight for the evening. And we will see you again on Tuesday for Diamond Icons, which is going to be a very, very fun. Mega Breaker says, hey, Jabs, when will you break our product? You're going to have to let me know a little more about your product, Mega Breakers. If you have some sort of product out there you'd like me to break, uh, I'll do it. Um, I, I don't charge anything like that for your exposure. I just ask that you give me a free box or two or whatever, and then I just give away all the cards as a giveaway. Here we go with Nico. Let's see what we can find for you. Am I planning any more 2020 selects, says Steven? Well, not right now. There's a whole lot of new releases coming out this week, so... If I do any more 2020 select, it'll be in a mixer break of 2020 products at some point. Smelly says, when can the $3 subs get in on the action? Anytime you want, Smelly. Um, you can sign up for a break the exact same as anybody else. All you have to do is post your PayPal email address, just like everybody else does, no matter what the tier is. Just have to be a member on Patreon. That's all you got to do. The difference is you won't get cards sent to you each month for free, like the free packs that some of the other folks get. Uh, Max says, Diamond Icons is crazy. Yeah, $10,000 a case. There's Daddy Daughter with the link. If you'd like to check it out, there's Luis Robert. Rookie card. And uh, let's see. It looks like... Are we going to have a hit in this stack or not? Looks like probably not. Both hits will be out of your next stack. All right, so Nico, here we go. Tyson says, I'm excited for Diamond Icons on Tuesday. Yeah, we're going to start that at 8.30 p.m. Eastern time. So 
Um, I'll try to remind you again in the mystery box Monday video tomorrow, so you don't miss that one. You probably want to go. To, you're probably going to want to be here. Probably, I don't know. We might break a thousand live viewers tomorrow because it's going to be a fun one for sure. Diamond icons, a huge, huge product. When is Diamond Icons? That's going to be Tuesday live at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Nico, here we go. Yeah, it's super expensive. $10,000 case, $250 a card. And uh, it'll be fun, though. If you aren't able to buy into it, you can sit back, relax, and watch the craziness come out of that case. All right, Nico out of 65... There's number 65. Let's see what we can find now for you. Your first hit, it's going to be a Steven Strasburg. It is a Indigo out of 50 Relic. So, not a bad hit right there. Steven Strasburg, one of the good pitchers in the game. A little worried you might get a crappy auto because they. I could see Panini valuing Steven Strasburg highly. And as we've seen all night long, they balance the boxes out. Very well. Good relic, bad auto, bad auto, good relic. And here we go. The autos. Oh, that's not a bad one, actually. Brendan McKay. Very nice. Brendan McKay. I like him a lot. He is, uh, you guys have heard of Shoyo Tani. He does the same thing. He's a great hitter and also a pitcher. Brendan McKay. Not a bad auto right there. I like that one. So, congrats. I was worried there you're going to get a crap auto. I don't consider Brendan McKay a crap auto at all. There's an Aristides Aquino as well for Nico. And you got a Vladdy. 206. Tyson says that McKay will be a superstar. There's a friend, Matt Thice Clemente, an all time Diamond King. Emily, thank you very much for being here. Go ahead and get these all piled up and ready for Nico. And now Dan is up in spot number 66. Dan was the big winner last night in the Saturday showdown. Let's see if he can win. Again, spot number 66. Here's your box. All right, let's get this turned around and find the entry point right there. Always go right there. When does Topps Chrome come out? I think it's the end. Oh, I just did it again. I just jabbed myself right on that. I got to be a little more careful with these Diamond King boxes. They're, uh, they're booby-trapped to catch you. Dr. Nick says, I got to go eat now. Thanks again for the trout. Love this channel. Dr. Nick, thank you very much. Hope to see you in some more breaks soon. And if you, you're not going to be in a break soon, hopefully you can watch all of them. I can't wait for Diamond Icons coming out uh, that we're doing on Tuesday. So here we go. Dan T. Spot 66. Let's see what we can find for Dan. Kevin's Cards says, hey, Jabs. Hope all is well. Almost to 70 subscribers. Kevin's Cards, thank you very much. Hope you guys will help out his channel get to 70 subscribers. To do so, Daddy Daughter just dropped the link in the chat. If you click that link, it'll go to his channel. And uh, you can check him out and hit that subscribe button for him. I would really appreciate it. Card King says, guess what, Kevin? You're now at 71. So you got there really quickly. Thanks, guys, for helping his channel. So here we go. Dan, your stack is almost done. Todd says full cap Anson. We'll see. Nice old timer right there from way, way back. It looks like we might have the auto right there. Keith says someone pulled a Mantle, Musial, and Yaz auto. Was that out of the 92 score? I think someone said that earlier. Here we go. Let's see what we have. Juan Soto. Juan Soto, Jersey Kings is your hit. Juan Soto. That's a good one. So I'm a little worried, Dan, for your autograph right now because Juan Soto is one of the top bright young stars in the game. We'll check out what we have coming your way in the rest of this box. There's Tim Anderson, batting champion Tim Anderson. Mega Breaker says, coming soon, best new product. Mega Breakers, I'm very, very intrigued. Let us know exactly what that product is. Is it a mystery box? Is it a subscription box? If so, let us know what it involves. Um, I do love the mystery box Mondays that I do, and um, let me know, because I, I love opening new stuff, especially um, mystery boxes, subscription boxes, and it sounds like you might have a nice one on your hands there. Hope you guys will 
check out Mega Breakers. Uh, Heather had to step out of the room, but she's back now. Do you have Mega Breakers on your list? Heather will check it out. She keeps a list of all the uh, affiliate channels that support my channel to drop the links in there and help them out. We'll search you up if you're not on there yet. Daddy Daughter said it's not on our list. All right, let's see who can find it first. Daddy Daughter or Heather. Dan, let's see who your autograph is going to be. Two more packs for me to rip open here, and then we'll start searching on through, and hopefully it's a good one. I have a feeling, if I had to guess, it's going to be a youngster auto. All right, so we've got Ted Williams in there, base card. There's an Albert Pujols. Caden says, I'm on MLB The Show. Should I play Road to the Show or Franchise? I would probably play some Road to the Show if it was me personally. There's Jordan Alvarez, rookie card. Nice one right there. Aficionado Mike Piazza. Dustin May. Logan Allen is the auto. So not the biggest name right there. That was expected. Logan Allen. Quad. Not quad. Dual relic. Autograph. Has there been a box with a good... Uh, yeah, the Jeff McNeil came with a nice autograph. I can't remember exactly which one it was, but um, there's been a few boxes that have had pretty good of each, but they pretty much balance these boxes out pretty well to make sure you get one good and one meh hit. So that's Dan's stuff. Dan, congrats on the Soto. Uh, Mega Breakers, if you'd like to email Daddy Daughter, he will find it. Heather, were you able to find Mega Breakers? No luck finding it yet. There's Dan's stack right there as we continue on. Armando's up right now. Armando, best of luck to you. We'll do box 67, box 68, box 69. Then we'll give away the Stan Musial autograph. Then that'll be the night. So Armando, here we go, 67. What's coming out of this box, I wonder? At least um, that's what Armando's wondering. I'm wondering the same thing, though. Troy says, I love watching this channel. I know what I need to get from Target now. Yep. Hopefully your Target is uh, lucky enough to, or you're lucky enough to find a Target that's actually stocked and not been picked over. Armando says, like I said, if you pull me a Mullins or Nico Horner, I'll need a refund. I'll tell you what, there's not going to be a, uh, Cedric Mullins in here, I don't think. But Nico Horner, we've seen some of him. Nico Horner, I wouldn't consider all that bad. He is a top prospect. Didn't do so well in the big leagues last year, but... Let's see what we have for Armando in spot 67. I got a feeling you might get something pretty good here. I like the number 67, so that's why I think that. Card player says, when am I going to give away the stand the man auto? That's after box 69. So, I don't know, 15 minutes maybe? Here we go. Armando, best of luck to you. Armando says, I'm going to hit big today. Fingers crossed. All right, so here we go. Roberto Clemente, frame card is in there. Luis Robert, rookie card. We'll get that one sleeved up for you. Tom A is warming up in the bullpen right now. He'll be coming in shortly for spot 68. Your hit is Justin Dunn. So I consider that to be not the biggest name. Cool relics, though. Um, Justin Dunn out of 25, 22 of 25. So I'm expecting a major star relic or Hall of Fame relic coming your way. We shall see if, um, I mean, we've been seeing it all night. They give you a, a D level auto like that. There's Gavin Lux. Then they make it up to you with a pretty darn good relic of a, either a super, Highly touted prospect, a major star in the game, or a Hall of Fame relic. There's Mega Breakers once again. Thank you very much, Mega Breakers. If you weren't able to email Daddy Daughter your, your list yet, make sure you do that, or your link, and uh, he can drop it in the list for you. There's Shy City Pools. Says 17 subscribers away from 400 jabs. That's pretty close. Shy City, congratulations on growing so quickly. Bowman Blaster giveaway ends tomorrow. Thanks, Jabs, for all the support you give us new creators. I have so much respect for you. Shy City Pools, thank you very much. I hope you guys will check out Shy City Pools and uh, help them get to 400 right now and get yourself in on that giveaway over there. It's a pretty nice giveaway. Bowman Blaster, those are like $40 a piece. And Daddy Daughter has the link right there. 
And Daddy Dar says, I got you, Shy City. So if anybody else wants to get on board, help them reach that 400 mark, please do so. As we look for a really good relic right now for Armando. Let's see what it is, Armando. It's right there. It's probably going to be one of those dual ones. It's, there's Nico Horner. You said you didn't want any Nico Horner cards. I haven't seen any of his relics in this yet. I have seen his autographs in this, though. There's a nice Jordan Alvarez. We'll get that one sleeved up. Dustin May, here it comes. There's a Bryce Harper frame card. It is going to be... You can see it coming right there. About five more cards. It is a... I'm predicting a nice one. It's Paul Mulder, Hall of Famer. Paul Mulder, Bat King. See, that's what they do. They give you a crappy autograph, and they make it up to you with a Hall of Famer relic or a major star relic. Paul Mulder, remember the 3,000 hit club right there back with the Brewers. Very, very nice. Love that one a lot. Paul Mulder, congratulations on that bad boy. And uh, the rest of these, we have some base cards for Mondo. Very nice. So we are down to just two boxes left. Two left to go. Box 68 is for Tom. And box 69 is for Sean. And then we will give away um, the uh, Stan the Man Musual Autograph. LF says, Jabs, you're my Diamond King. <laughs> Thank you for that, I guess. So here we go. Tom, looking for a Red Sox hit. Let's see what we can find for you. Maybe we'll find, uh, I don't know, who would the best Red Sox hit be, in your opinion, that's... Um, doableness. A nice Wade Boggs. We already found a Wade Boggs. That'd be pretty cool. You find a second one. Haven't found any any Eddie Murray relics tonight. I feel like in the first Master Case, there's like three Eddie Murray bat relics in there. Big Poppy would be a nice one as well, Card King. That's a good call. Looking for Red Sox for Tom. Let's see what we... Oh, Ted Williams. Yes, that would be a nice one for sure. I didn't... I don't remember if I saw his name on the Relic checklist. I mean, you could check it out. I posted it on Patreon. But there's, like, so many cards I didn't read through every single line. Uh, Mario says, you have opened up more packs of cards than anyone in the world. Guinness Book of World Records. I wonder if anyone actually took... You know how long that would take to figure out, like, by watching every single one of my breaks and seeing how many packs I've actually opened? And definitely tens of thousands Especially some of those long ones, those eight-hour breaks. All right, so Tom, here we go. Spot 68. Uh, looks like all of your hits may come in your second stack. I didn't see any thick cards in this one. Justin, how's it going? Lou Gehrig base card right there. Oh, what is that? Upside down card? Interesting. Save that one for end, the end of this stack. Hey, you got the case hit. Joe Adele, the downtown. Very nice. Case hit, Joe Adele. Brain Turberville says, thanks for the Babe Ruth hit. Jabs has hot hands. Thank you very much, Brain. Glad that you saw that one. That was, I was super stoked about that. Some big Yankees game used relics tonight. We got a quad uh, relic auto of Aaron Judge, a quad relic auto of Ricky Henderson, another former Yankee, although I think he was in his uh, Oakland Athletics Union in that one. And then we pulled Babe Ruth's jersey and Lou Gehrig's jersey. Crazy stuff. Fregman and uh, Ryan Sabre. So what is this going to be? It's Nico Horner's going to hide the card. It is a Ronald Acuna Jr. autograph for Tom A. I know you wanted to get a Boston Red Sox hit right there, but that is a doozy. 14 of 50, Ronald Acuna Jr. How about that one? So another big hit, arguably our one of our best autographs of the night, right up there with the Jordan Alvarez and Ricky Henderson. Tom is celebrating, says, yes, 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 yes. Ronald Acuna Jr., a great hit right there. I knew we had something when this card was upside down. I didn't recognize the back. Uh, card collector says, oh, my gosh. Sam J says, wow. And... Uh, Daddy Daughter says, who needs logos? Sam says, I need that card. How about that one, Tom? A, congratulations. A big time hit right there. So your relic is going to be an absolute piece of garbage, is probably, I would imagine, because that is a huge hit. And as we've seen, Panini really, really balances these boxes when they give you a great uh, hit like that. They give you a crappy hit to even things out. 
So here we go. I'm assuming that's going to be what it is. Uh, Sam says the DK206 style 2. Oh my gosh, what a nice one. Marcel says jump out the window. What a hit. Shy City Pools with the dollars in the eyes emoji. Shy City, thank you very much. Have you reached 400 subscribers yet, Shy City? Hope you guys will get in there if you haven't already. And help out Shy City. All right, Todd says, I'm the Mega fan, so that card goes to me. I'm the Mega Braves fan. There's Daddy Daughter with the link for Shy City Pools. Tom, what a nice big hit right there. Ronald Acuna Jr., congratulations on that one. Thank you for participating in the breaks, Tom. All right, so Tom, I told you you are going to have a crappy uh, relic coming up to... That's just, I mean, we've opened literally 68 boxes. We've seen this over and over and over again. There's a nice King Griffey Jr. frame card. Uh, Daddy Daughter says, Shy City's at 397. So if you want to be his number 400, get on over to Shy City and maybe be his number 400. Here it comes. Hey, Eugenio Suarez is nothing to sneeze at right there. That's pretty good. He had 49 home runs last year. His rookies and stuff aren't worth that much. People are kind of like an underrated player. But his home run total has increased every single year that he's been in the league. I like that one. A. Eugenio Suarez, a lot better than I was expecting. Nice one right there. Not a Red Sox, but a good one nonetheless. Tyson said he's underrated. I agree with you. Very, very underrated. Uh, someone said, name somebody that hit 49 home runs last year. Um, nobody would be able to name A. Eugenio Suarez. They'd probably say Pete Alonso hit 53. But Jesus Lusardo is a nice one. I'll get that one sleeved up. A Daddy Daughter says, Shy City's at 401. Thanks, guys, for helping his channel grow. There's Gavin Lux and Adrian Moore, John. So a huge hit right there. Ronald Acuna Jr., DK206 design for Tom and also the case hit of the downtown uh, insert card for Tom. Big hit. And we're down to the last box of the night now, box number 69. I've got three other boxes of people didn't pay, but I figure I'll just save those for myself and put them in my inventory, maybe use them for a future um, Saturday showdown or something like that. Shy City Pool says 400. You guys are truly amazing. Shy City Pools, congratulations. And uh, thank you very much for supporting the channel. I hope you guys will check out Shy City if you just got in here. He's doing a nice giveaway of some Bowman, 2020 Bowman Blaster on his channel. Now that he's hit 400, so it's not too late. Check out his channel, everybody. As we check out our final box. And then, Heather, I will also, in about five minutes, need my computer to do the giveaway. Can you go, can you bring up a new tab and go to pickawinner.co? And can you take my Diamond Kings preview video link, just copy-paste, and put that in there, and that's how we'll pick the winner. Heather's getting the giveaway set up for the Stan Musual. Todd says that, speaking about the... Ron Acuna Jr. was the hit of the night. So here we go. Sean, let's see what we have for you. In spot six, nine. Can we go out with a nice big hit here? I hope so. That Acuna Jr. was a huge hit. And um, we already pulled... Babe Ruth game use jersey and Lou Gehrig game use jersey as well tonight. Let's see if we can keep it going with one more big one on the way out the door. For Sean, here is your last pack. Nationals Rocket 2.0. Here, how's it going? Thanks for joining us. Looks like you may have your hit right there. Daddy Daughter says, let's pull a shoe relic of, sh of Joe Jackson. That'd be funny. Here we go. It is Whit Merrifield Bat Kings. Now, personally, I would probably put this card around $5 in value or so. I don't consider this to be a big hit, so I'm hoping that, Sean, you're going to have a huge hit coming your way. Tom, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Luis Robert rookie card is a nice one. We shall see. I'm hoping for a nice rookie auto of somebody big. I'd love to find a Bo Bichette or another Gavin Lux auto for you. But we will see what we've got. It's going to be coming out of the last stack. This is the last box of this break. And then we will do our giveaway of the Stan Musial. There's Gavin Lux. And our last one there is Pete Alonso and Billy Williams. All right, one more hit. It's going to be an auto. Let's see what we got.
Heather, could you do one more favor for me? On the island downstairs where I film my preview videos and stuff, there is a Stan Musial autograph. It looks like this guy. Uh, it's just a single card and top letter with the autograph. It should be laying down there from when I revealed that in my preview video. Can you see if it's down there and bring it up? Because we're going to give that card away. and People would probably like to see it. And then the, we will call it an evening after we give that bad boy away. Get these all moved around. So they're all facing the same direction. All right, so what is the final hit of the night going to be? I hope it's gonna be a big one. Whit Merrifield, of course, good player, but I don't know if I'd put him in the superstar ranks, so let's see what we've got coming up. I'm just gonna throw these pack wrappers away. All right, so there it is right there. We have Pete Alonso, Pete Rose, Justin Verlander. We have Jordan Yamamoto, Mike Trout, Tony Gonsolin, Aristides Aquino is a nice one. Tim Anderson, Jesus Lusardo, Jack Flaherty, Jordan Alvarez. Oh, you are amazing. Thank you very much. Here's the card that we're giving away. Thanks for going and grabbing that. Stan the Man Musial, 1957 batting champ. Uh, this was sent to us by Mr. Bob Mars. We're giving it away in a minute here. Um, all you got to do is... How about a Cody Bellinger? It's going to be a Belly Bombs autograph. National League Most Valuable Player Quad Relic Cody Bellinger ends the night. Another great hit. Congratulations, Sean, on that one. I was hoping you were going to get a big hit right there, and I would consider that one to be a real nice big hit. One of the top players in the game, Cody Bellinger. He won the MVP last year, for Pete's sake. Quad Relic and Autograph. A great, great hit right there for Sean. Jim says, unbelievable. Shy City with the fire emoji. Spencer says, boom. There he is. Sean says, boom. Thanks, Jabs. You are welcome. And Max says, wow, every single box has had at least one great hit. That's what we've noticed. I noticed that trend after opening at several of these boxes. And um, yeah, it really, really continued all throughout this break. Every single box was that way. Pretty cool that Panini did that for everybody. So you're not never going to get a dud box. That sometimes happens. You get a box with one hit, and it ends up being like a crappy, like, game-used jersey of, uh, no offense, but a guy like Salvi Perez, which is a, like a $3 relic or something like that. He's a great player and everything, but FDC Family Cards with a cool super sticker. Thank you very much, FDC. I really appreciate that. A very, very nice hit right there to end the break. And now let's give away a Stan the Man Musual uh, autograph card right there, courtesy of Mr. Bob Mars. Uh, shout out to you, FaZe. Thank you very much for being here. Here's the last card, Mike Piazza. So, Heather, if you would please pass me my computer, I will trade you this stack of cards for this laptop. Heather's got everything all set up. So I am going to go into my YouTube and go to my comment section. You have to be subscribed to my channel to um, be eligible to win this. So, here we go. Let me go to my comments. Heather, I'm on your YouTube page. I'm going to have to sign out of your account and sign into mine so I can verify. The only thing I ask is that you be subscribed to this channel and um, have left a comment and like the video. It's not that much to ask, right, Heather? It's pretty easy. All right, so, okay. I've got to sign into my... Um, a YouTube account there. Jabs family. 1,305 videos I've posted. Heather, that's a lot of videos, huh? Go to YouTube Studio and the comments section. I just want to have this all ready to go. So we don't have to dilly-dally. How about that for a word, Heather? Have you ever used that one? That's a good word. All right, so the way this works is I'm going to see your let's move this diamond kings off to the side i'm going to pull a comment and then i'm going to see if you are subscribed so this is my comment page if you are subscribed the most recent comment was uh 
A Dog Caps, who's been subscribed for one week. It tells me they're publicly subscribed right there. So we're going to go to this comment picker page right there. Heather was kind enough to go ahead and put the link in there. Let's hit the lights, Heather, to get all of the glare off the screen. All right, so the winner of the Stan the Man Musual autograph card. Let's fetch all the data. We will take out the replies, and uh, here we go. This is my new favorite site for picking comments. Looks like we had at least 200, 300, 400 people sign up, 500, 600. These are all unique commenters. Stan the Man Musual, 1,000 folks in there. Uh, for the Stand the Man Musual, and just because your name doesn't come up, just wait a minute, because we will have to verify that they are actually subscribed to the channel publicly to win. So th our first contestant is Rory Turner, who said, Favorite card was the Frank Thomas Redemption. Love the content. Great stuff. So, Rory, let's find out if you're subscribed. Rory Turner is not publicly subscribed. So, unfortunately... Um, we are going to move along to our next contestant, and that is going to be CJF, says Frank Thomas was definitely the best pull. CJF, here we go, CJF, and, um, yes, they are publicly sub uh, subscribed, and they've been subscribed for six months. CJF is our winner, so... What I'm going to do is send you an, uh, a message right now with how to claim your card. Congratulations. You won the usual. And please send me an email at this account. And comment back with your email so that I can match them up. All right, so Stan the Man Musical, CGF, thank you very much for being subscribed. For all you guys that are subscribed, I really appreciate that. We'll do more giveaways just like that in the future. Um, you know, um, try to do at least like one, uh, I don't know, one a week, maybe two a week. We just did one on Patreon, gave away three blaster boxes uh, worth of cards to Ray on Friday. Stan the Man Musical, coming your way. Let's go ahead and get a nice... Um, We'll just use box 70. CJF will get this one, the usual card. All right, so that will do it, everybody. Thanks for being here. We opened up all 48 boxes or so that we had of Diamond Kings. And looks like uh, Amanda Mac, Amanda Mac, with a $1.99. Hey, you emoji. Amanda, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. I hope you guys will check out Amanda's channel on our, your way out the door. Fun break, some great stuff tonight. Amanda, thank you for the support. Everybody, thank you for the support of the channel. Uh, I, I really liked hanging out with you guys tonight. And we're looking at another big time um, break on Tuesday doing Diamond Icons. Uh, that's going to be a fun one. 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time, Diamond Icons, $10,000 case. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be fun. And there's going to be some great stuff coming out of that. So I hope to see you here in a couple days for that. I hope you guys had a great weekend. I hope you'll join us for our Mystery Box Monday tomorrow. And uh, stay safe and have a great rest of your evening. Good night, everybody.